We're live, and welcome to the Mike Canning Show, sponsored by Bulletproof Coffee. Right now, we are in the brand new High Octane Cafe in beautiful San Diego. My name is Mike Koenigs, and this is episode number one. Now, it's taken a long time to get here, lots of work, and an enormous amount of resources. In fact, we're going to give you a tour of the studio in just a few minutes. Now, my team and I have an incredible show for you today, including special guest Dave Asprey, creator and chairman of Bulletproof, remotely from Victoria Island, British Columbia. We also have body amplifiers with my sister from another Mista, New York Times number one bestseller, JJ Virgin, where she'll share you with you how you can wake up every morning burning fat. And then we have something really cool, something I've been super excited about, Mike's Gadget Giveaway, where I'll be demonstrating one of my new favorite gadgets. In fact, it's probably my favorite, favorite thing right now, and give you a chance to win a tech gadget every single week, including the one that we're going to be demonstrating. Now, we also have something that Ed and I put together. It's called Blind, Deaf, and Dumb Taste Tests. You'll have to wait and see what that is. We also have hot seats where you can ask questions interactively and a lot more. Now, I have my co-host, Mr. Ed Rush, marketing genius extraordinaire and former F-18 fighter pilot here to share dating tips. Yes, Ed? dating tips. Nice. I, I stole a teleprompter like 15 nice. minutes ago. so. Thank I'm you for gonna, that. I'm Appreciate not going to be talking about that. I, I'm, not, um, I'm not qualified in that topic. By the way, I've been downstairs in the oh, basement yeah. drinking coffee for the last three hours. So, And uh, we've got our fabulous. On. Here we go. Yeah. Cheers. This is good. Welcome. And uh, I do want to give a shout out to, we've got some fantastic people in here with us right now. The coffee's not spiked, by the way. It might be later on. Might be. So I, I don't know if it's possible, if we can, maybe can we swing around the camera here by any chance? and show <laughs> we, we do have a live audience here. Oh, live, live. It. <clears throat> okay, this is our nice. branditized team. We have some in this part of the studio. You can't, it's not perfectly lit. But we also have some more well, that's uh, because folks. they didn't know you were going to do that. I know, made so. <laughs> this stuff up on the fly. It's actually, this is a new record, though. Three minutes and five seconds into a show. Before I change the Before you change the I know. entire game plan. So. I'm in charge of breaking stuff. Know, you know I like that. that. That's good. All right, and this is all about you, too. So. I'll talk a little bit more about you. I want to acknowledge everyone who's watching us right now. We yes. got Elaine. We got people in here from all over the world who are watching us live. And if you're watching a recording, well, you'll have an opportunity to learn more about how you can join yes. us another time as well. Please do join us in chat. You can do that okay. to the right or below you, depending on where that is. Come say hello. Tell us who you are. We're going to be answering your questions in just a little bit. That is exactly right. And I'll uh, I'll turn back to you right now. The big important thing is if you're on the show page, which is located at mrbz.com slash live, watching us live, Make sure you introduce us in chat because we're watching and we're talking to you. And if you're watching or listening to us on YouTube, on social, or in iTunes podcast that may be recorded, then feel free to send an email to Show at gmail.com, and that is M-I-K-E-K-O-E-N-I-G-S, show at gmail.com. Or you can also join us by texting MKSHOW to 5885. And not only will you get show notes after the show is done, but you're also going to get a chance to win some cool prizes as well. Yes, so, like the gadget that you're going to give away. That is correct. Yeah. There's yeah, we got that. alliteration there and everything. I love it. That's right. It took a long time. To so I know that. earlier this week, you, uh, you went on a little tour yes, of the actually, streets. Yes, actually, we just completed a... So let's just put it this way. Mike, I think you know this. I mean, you know this too. Your popularity is just going off the charts. So, well, thank you. So what we wanted to do is we just took some time in San Diego to just go around and, and just ask people questions about you. And it was, um, it was really telling, actually. Uh -huh. And so uh, we created a, a, a short montage, I would say, of some of the feedback that we got. Now, as you're watching this, I want you to know that normally when, when we create these little bits, I guess we call them, or sketches, Comedy bits. Um, Mike and I pr uh, do these together. So. Uh, we write them and then we go film them with our team and then we put them together. But this this one, it, on the very first I, of the Mike Canning show, he we didn't let him participate at all. So uh, I I have not seen this. I've heard about it and yeah. I heard other people while they're watching it. But honest to God, I have not seen this video yet. So so uh, the first time Mike's going to see this, we have a a, bit, a screen right below this camera okay. that he's going to watch. And so let's uh, let's see. You've what, got your remote ready to turn ready up the to volume go. so I can hear it. Let's watch what right. local San Diego says about Mike. All right. I'm here with my friends Licia and Linda, and you guys read People magazine? Yes. So you're down with like who's who, right? Oh, absolutely. So if I said the name to you, Mike Koenigs, what, what would that do for you? Nothing. Mike Koenigs, do you recognize that name? No. No. Never, never heard of him. 
Who? No, never heard of him. I'm not sure who that is, no. Do you think that she knows who <laughs> Mike Hanigs is? Do you know who Mike Hanigs is? <laughs> All right, so the name Mike Hanigs, what does that ring a bell for you? Um, he had survived cancer, and um, he has written nine novels. And in fact, um, I'm reading a novel right now. No way. And it's called The <laughs> Cat Toolkit. So you got a very interesting book. You got the book. Uh, yes, and I think everybody should read it. Mm, no. I have no idea. No. Doesn't ring a bell. Mike Kenny. Mike yeah, of course I know. He's the video guy. Right? Yeah, yeah, the video guy. That's right. I've never heard of Mike Kenny. Not at all. Um, how about, well, here, I'll show you a picture. This is uh, Mike right here. Is that? Wow. Wow. I've still never heard of him. That's interesting, though. Is he doing hip hop? No, 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 not at all. So if I said the name Mike Kenny to you, what would you say? Mike Kenny? Uh, I, I like the program. I, I like the program. He's so good. Uh, Mike Hennings. They uh, have something in there to create content, uh, replay something, component three and four audience. Uh, I just feel like, like as I sit here, I just feel like you you really understand me. Ba, 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 ba. I'm just going to lay down for a minute or two. I just need to lay down. Just, how are you doing? Nice. nice. There Thank you go. Thank you for that, Ed. So I, th right. I think we just saw, I mean, your demographic, you you nailed it. I mean, right there. They, Here we go. They know who you are. So just, uh, <laughs> I, I assume you, you took care of the folks who were on there? You, there were some the, highly compensated uh, San Diego. Some, some paid actors. Uh, natives, if yeah, you yeah. will. Yeah. Very nice. Well, it was, uh, it was very touching. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, so the first it. field report. <laughs> Good. All right. Well, thanks. All right. So, um, shall we continue? Yeah. I know we've got some awesome bits. Actually, you know, the question that's been coming up is, what is the Mike Koenig show all about? Could all right. you tell us that? Yeah, I can do that. I'll tell our friends. Yeah. Okay, good. I'll do it right now. All right. Thank you. So, well, that's a, that's a good thing. Well, here's, here's what I believe. I, um, in all, very seriously, I believe we live in the greatest moment in human history, and we've got incredible abundance around us, but we also have a lot of uncertainty between tech, business, government, financial world, and investments in real estate. and Everything's being challenged in a lot of ways. And more than half of the planet is connected with mobile data and social media. So like we started out the program today on Periscope. Anyone with a mobile phone can share uh, your message. You can be seen, heard, listened to on any device, anywhere, anytime on demand. And you're in a position to be giving or taking instructions from a computer. So, for example, you can create the next Uber. You know, maybe you don't have the technology, but you can certainly put together a team like that. And you can use Uber, like we do, to save money and not have to drive around in a stinky taxi cab. A lot of people are mad about that. Or you could be competing for 20 bucks an hour with 160,000 other people just in the United States alone. I know they have over a half million drivers worldwide. Another example is 99 Designs. That's how we had our design, our, our artwork, and the logo made here. So you can either create a 99 Designs, you can use 99 Designs, or you could be someone who's competing with 400 other designers on a $400 budget. So the bottom line is you can either be on one side or the other side of giving or taking instructions from a computer. And this show is for people who want to be giving machines instructions and actually building and growing. So as I would say, if you're an enthusiastic, curious entrepreneur and you're committed to reinventing yourself and you're excited about the future and you're willing to deal with uncertainty and dedicated and devoted to can I, that's what Tony Robbins calls it, constant and never ending improvement, then you're in the right place at the right time. So the bottom line is, my vision has been for quite a while to create a million entrepreneurs, um, both in my lifetime, but also through this show. And I believe that ultimately entrepreneurs help build and grow and create a better world. Now, history has proven that the only way to create economic abundance is through innovation and an investment. And this isn't going to happen by just creating more information. So the solution to this problem is simple. To start, I think it's important that we all are creating successful businesses and we're also helping people. So to become a thought leader and an innovator, to become a niche celebrity to make that happen. 
and then use all the tools that are available and ultimately I think it's really important that as entrepreneurs we can do commerce with any country and any person anywhere in the world without government intervention and to be treated fairly. And as ADD entrepreneurs, now a lot of our friends and family might think we're completely nuts, but the truth is societies have been built on the backs of what some people think are crazy people. And if you don't know my story, officially this is the three year anniversary of me leaving Duke Medical Center. I had cancer and I finished my final radiation treatment exactly three years ago today. And when I left Duke Medical, I did a lot of inner work thinking about what I was going to do if I survived. And the bottom line is, number one, I survived. I'm healthy today. Cancer's not in my body. I have great doctors. And uh, I changed my life and my family. And when I got out of that hospital, I decided, number one, I was going to sell my businesses, which successfully happened. I sold them to a publicly traded company. But I also decided to start an interactive online television network. That would be my next big thing and devote the rest of my life, or at least the next career path, to doing that. So I've committed to doing this, and I'm putting everything in it to help entrepreneurs just like you. So the net net is this. I'm here with my friend Ed Rush to help make that happen. Yeah. Uh, we've got a great show planned for you today, a lot of really fun segments. And um, the bottom line is, I'm scared as hell to do this. Um, been thinking about it for a long time, put a lot at risk, but we've got an unbelievable team who's just been working their tails well, off. Well, and the point is simple, I mean, mm -hmm. and you made it, which is if you're going to wait around for the government or for uh, education or for your uh, uh, parents to pass away and leave you an inheritance right. to create the kind of abundance that you want in your life, you're going to be waiting for a long time. But there's just this amazing door that's just recently opened up with media, online, offline, to be able to create the kind of abundance that you want to, and the kind of show that we want to create is the one that shows you the way to do it. Right. And we're going to model that as we go. Totally. Well, and for you, that means like right now, if you're watching us live, one of the things I encourage you to do, if you haven't done it already, click on the subscribe to YouTube button. I'll tell you more about why that's important in a moment. But with every show that we create here, not only are we going to be um, producing it live and streaming it on YouTube, and all the streaming channels we can get our hands on, but we're also converting this into a podcast immediately. So go ahead and click on the subscribe to iTunes button or just head on over to mrbz.com slash podcast. You can subscribe to it there. The other thing to do is register to get show notes. So uh, we have a link for that as well. That's mrbz.com slash show. Sign up. I'm assuming that's what it is. You're that's looking what at it me is. like you want I'm looking some at it. confirmation. I know we've got a link. I have no notes. Okay, All right. so it's good. It's there somewhere. It's true. It's Just true. start typing letters after mrzbz.com and eventually it'll. We can make it up. Well, the good news is we've got these cool lower thirds, and we'll show those throughout the show as well. <laughs> so um, I know we've got. Uh, this interview coming up next with Dave Asprey, yeah. which is going to be super cool. Yeah. And for the record, I think we talked about this already, and we've got a big, uh, if we show our wide shot, we're sponsored by Bulletproof Coffee. In fact, I have a neat little graphic behind us right here. Um, let me show that. We'll show the Bulletproof logo for our friends from Man. Bulletproof. Man. How do you like that, huh? Look at that. Pretty fancy. Wow. So um, we'll talk about them in a little bit uh, here, and you're going to meet Dave Asprey, and who's just an a amazing bag of guy. a random bag of coffee. No, that's sure. actually part of our, our uh, setup here, too. We do? Yes. So um, here's what well, I'm like going to do. Three um, hours in the basement. It is true. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Dave Asprey here. And I do have some notes that I'd like to uh, move forward because we're not rolling the other video. But I'm going to tell you. We're not going to do the video tour anymore? Uh, oh, that's right. We are yeah. going to do the video tour. We're going to show people the studio. For oh, crying yeah. out loud, this isn't the only. So, I mean, what do you think of that? It's not just me and you now. There's that is true. There's a lot true. of people around here. All right, so. so here's what we've got that's going to be really, really fun. Um, one of the things that we get requested all the time is can we see the studio? Yeah. We've got some friends here who are in the studio right now, but you can actually take a little tour. I'm going to guide you through and show you what this place is like, show you the big set here, take you behind the scenes. You're going to see the switcher, yeah. um, so some of our team. Meet some of our team and. and sure. uh, catch some people in the act of doing some things that they maybe shouldn't have been doing. So. I don't know about that. They're, in general, a good group, that's for sure. Yeah. You ready to roll? I wasn't talking about them. Okay. Yes. Let's, Let's take that tour, shall we? And when we come back, we can answer your questions. So go ahead, post them in chat. We'll answer some of your questions, and we'll be sticking around towards the end of the show to do that, too. So let's, uh, let's take that tour. Hey, welcome. 
Welcome to the studio. I'm going to give you a quick tour and show you the gear, the setup, and this brand new set. So first of all, this is something that we've been building now for a couple of months, putting it together, started designing it when we decided to do this studio and create the, the, the show itself. So this is the new Mike Koenig show. This whole slab here is made out of a beautiful piece of cedar. And in case you don't know this already, this is actually a caffeine molecule that's embedded. The whole set is completely controllable. We can change the colors, of course, change all the logos and that kind of thing. So it's completely flexible. It's one of the things we want is total reuse. And of course, space for our sponsors and advertisers as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is. I, I told uh, you to sell those 100. This is Ed Rush. And, uh, How many times do I need to tell you it's sell the shares, not that's buy right. the shares? That's right. He's very, very busy right now. So why don't you come on over here? I'll show you where we do our brainstorming and our thinking. And that's behind the curtains here. So what we have behind the scenes is a complete room where we can set everyone up, do a creative meeting. We bring in writers. We bring in producers, editors. We plan our entire program. We've got whiteboards over here, et cetera, et cetera. But it makes it really, really easy to get together, collaborate, and we've got a great view, too. We can see the ocean in the distance here. It's absolutely beautiful. So next thing I'm going to show you is the mini studio. This used to be my office. You can come along with me in here. All right, so the way we use this, again, everything is multiple function. We've got a couple other studios and offices over here, but inside right now, our studio director, Deb Cole, is actually working behind the scenes and getting all set to go. Hey, Deb. Hey, how are you? All right. So uh, you can see she's getting ready. She can see the entire production from inside here. She's able to control the teleprompter and monitor and manage everything. And then over here, this is another mini studio. This is Alice. She's my mannequin friend. But you can see here, I'm able to control another program if we need to, so I can switch between multiple shots. I can overlay. And we call this the intimacy dashboard. I'm able to read the minds of our audience while they're communicating with us. And I can actually put on an entire show solo if I need to or bring in a guest as well. So the whole name of the game is flexibility and our ability to create content that can, can be seen, heard, viewed, listened to anytime, anywhere, and on demand. So the next thing we're going to do is head into the main studio. So all right, um, what you're going to see here, first of all, we got little makeup area right here. And behind Ian, who's monitoring the camera right now, we've got a green screen area. Now if we need to, we can do a virtual set here very, very easily. We can also drop down different color backgrounds if we need to, or just key it out. And we've got a lighting rig as well. Over here, we've got more space for producers, or if we've got our chat team that will be here during the live show tonight. All right, over here is Chris Cashman. He is in another set. How's it going? There's Chris. So he, this is our library set. And when it's all lit up, it actually looks fantastic. And you might recognize this set over here. This is the Digital Cafe. It's been around for a long, long time in the family here. But we're able, again, to brand it however we want. That's a real neon sign. And of course, a comfy 50s style diner. We've done a lot of productions here over the years. But it's just something nice for a little bit of variety. I'm going to take you behind the scenes. And right now, this is Sean and Melissa. They're busy getting ready to switch and switching. Drinking their bulletproof coffee, of course, but they've got the entire show all set to go, and they're able to control the cameras, switch in real time, add bumpers and logos and animations, whatever we need. And they're also streaming the program, too. And then, as soon as the program is done, it's output, sent out to podcast channels, it's turned into audios. We even have it transcribed for show notes. Now, Ian's actually taking you behind the scenes to, we call this the big set. and. Uh, well, of course, we have another sponsor here, too, our alcohol sponsor. This is Euphoric. Um, but this is a really interesting set because I'm able to, again, watch and monitor. I can read chat. I can watch orders coming in. I can communicate with you and listen to you. So if you have any questions, for example, I'm able to read them in real time during a program and change the flow. Now, we also have a bunch more monitors. And normally, we have all kinds of additional cameras here set up. Some of them are reconfigured for the big set right now in this current production. But I'm able to stand over here, for example, if I wanted to present with a slideshow. 
and I can also bring on, let's say, another guest who can be speaking and presenting in a completely different area. The other thing that's important is from behind the scenes, again, with all these other monitors behind me, we can switch to multiple cameras. I can turn, let's say, read from a teleprompter. The whole thing is configured to be absolutely flexible and reusable. Now, if I walk over here, we have a, another set. Again, we can light this up with a brick background if we want to do like an urban configuration. This is the JJ Virgin desk, so when she is doing a cooking show, for example, we roll this out in front of the green screen. We can key it out, make it look like she's actually in a kitchen, and bring in some guests as well. And then this is the comfy room. It was originally designed with Pam Hendrickson in mind, but if we want to create more of a softer environment for an interview, or we want to just create some sort of a different environment or what we call a bounce to a different set, we can do it here. Again, we can light it up any way we want. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get ready to continue on with the rest of the show. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, just send an email to mikekoenigsshow at gmail.com. All right. I'm going to close the door. I'll see you in just a moment. All wow. right. Back. What an amazing set, man. It is. Well, this I'm just is, this glad that you let me in f here for a roughly a half an hour every day. You're welcome. You, you, and the vacuum cleaner that you've provided for me is excellent uh, as well. That so, yeah. and you're a very good fry cook too. Yes, that's good. Thank point. you for that, Ed yeah. Rush. All right. Yeah. So uh, we've got a couple of cool things happening here. Um, number one, I saw a couple of nice comments uh, come through. Yes. Couple questions. Make sure you say so, hello to us in chat. Yeah, and this is interesting. Susie mentioned something about um, she saw in the opening sequence. Yeah. Uh, I had Richard Dreyfus here in the studio, and he's playing a new role as Madoff. That's, That's interesting. interesting. I interesting actually role. did not know that. So, very interesting. Pretty curious. So, if you uh, are listening to this podcast, you wouldn't have seen that. But in the opening sequence, we've got uh, Richard Man, Dreyfus. He said, "If you're listening studio. to the podcast, it's easy. It's the website called YouTube. You can just watch it." That's true. So That's true. Simple. Easy to find. Yep. So um, very good. And she asked a question about Traffic Geyser. Sold the business. Honest to God, I don't know what's going on with it right now. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So you're that's ready? what happens sometimes when you sell a business. That's what happens when you sell a business, right? <laughs> sometimes that's the reason you sell a business. I'm not saying that that happened in this particular case, no. but you know. Yeah. So uh, Three hours are we ready for basement. Dave Asprey? <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. Oh, so we've got an interview coming up that we chose it for a reason to be our very first interview. That's true. The guy's a genius, by the way, and um, I'm pretty sure you're going to learn that in the in, in the interview. But why don't you tell our sure. Our, our friends who Dave Asprey I'm gonna do is. It. I'll do it. Well, here's the uh, here's what's important. Um, first of all, the reason I chose Dave to be our first guest is is the tagline of the show is Amplify Your Life. And I've always said that I think the most important qualities of any entrepreneur are innovation, reinvention, and resilience. And that's something that Dave has in spades. So he's really good at what I call life amplification, body, mind, spirit. But he's also an amazing brand builder. He's spent some time uh, doing some incredible stuff. So we're going to roll a, an intro video in a moment about him. But I originally met Dave through JJ Virgin. And what interested me immediately was he's just a super passionate guy. He loves building brands. And if you're, <clears throat> you ever get an opportunity to be an investor in a company, you look for, first of all, do you like the founder? Does he have, or does she, she or he, have it, huge amounts of passion? Yep. Them. Um, do they create great products? Yep. And uh, are they products that you use yourself? So like, for example, I, I go to Costco a lot, go to Apple a lot, use all their products. But also, um, you want to meet their team as well. So it was because of Bulletproof that I actually started drinking coffee for the first time in 20 years. That's amazing, by the way. And yeah. you know, you used to be, um, I don't know how to say this gently, you were like one of those people that didn't drink coffee and then made everybody else feel sh Yeah. You, feel you could say not that's good right. about themselves. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> so we had a I bet. Would, we part of it's because I don't like the smell. We I've had a bet story before about the show. That. Is that yeah. how many times during the show I would stop myself from saying a word, uh -huh. and that's I don't know what the over under is, but it's one now, right? All right. So I didn't do that on purpose. So I'm ahead. So yeah, we've been trying to decide <laughs> if we're going to swear or not on this show because originally we we're going to call this show Mike Koenig's Uncensored. So Mike used to make me feel crappy, crappy about myself for drinking uh -huh. coffee, and then all of a sudden one day. I come in and he's drinking this coffee with butter in it, and then I made fun of him for about six months, and then yeah. I started drinking my coffee with butter in it, and now, um, yeah, and we're gonna cool. later we're gonna in talk the show, about it. we're got a little bit. Yeah, more, yeah, yeah. Okay, so good. It'll be fun. So here's here's what I want to tell you. First of all, um, 
I think the company is amazing. I love the products. I love the people behind it. And to be totally transparent, I'm an early stage investor in Bulletproof Coffee. And that's because I think the product's going to go crazy. I love who they are. And, and one of the things I want to do when I created the show is find a way to share stuff and people that I like and support them. That's one of the reasons why we're going to be interviewing some of our past clients and customers as well. So here's uh, the key thing is we're doing this interview remotely. In the future, most of our guests are going to be here in the studio with us. But Dave has had an insane calendar and a schedule. So what we're going to do is I'm going to roll a quick video for you that sets up who Dave Asprey is and what he's doing, and then we're going to actually be in another set in the other studio interviewing him remotely. So let's roll that video right now. I don't know about you, but I can't get started without a cup of coffee, which is why I'm wide-eyed about one of the hottest new trends in downing that first morning cup of joe with a healthy slab of butter. Have you heard of uh, Bulletproof Coffee? <laughs> no. Is that real? You guys heard about this? Oh, like a, like a brand? No, it's a thing that you do. I tried it today. I feel pretty good. I just, I had this thing yesterday called a Bulletproof Coffee. Have you ever had one of these? That's nice. Isn't it? That's actually nice, and, and I, you didn't even put any sugar in there. No, no, not at all. Just unsalted grass-fed butter and great octane. I was meant to teach you about this, and apparently you're already drinking it. Bulletproof coffee? Yeah, bulletproof long, coffee. Man? Yeah, this is it. I think since you were coming on. I started drinking. You guys know about Bulletproof Coffee? It will change your life. We're going to take a look now at a counterintuitive new coffee trend. It's called Bulletproof Coffee. The idea is that adding butter to your morning brew will help you lose weight and boost energy. His name is Dave Asprey. I'm a professional biohacker. The man who has helped change Dr. Drew's life. He is the man, Dave Asprey, who invented Bulletproof Coffee. Key to growing muscles is food. So you've got to get your diet right. And I talk about that in some of the other videos here. But assuming your food's right, you've also got to get the inputs in your system so that your body will grow muscle the way you want it to. Entrepreneurs have hacked traditional transportation. They've hacked the education system. Is the body really kind of the next pillar? Absolutely, the body is the next pillar. Because when I weighed 300 pounds, I was having really bad problems with brain fog. As an entrepreneur, that's a problem. You lost 100 pounds. Lost 100 pounds, I used to weigh 300 pounds. Bulletproof coffee is an invention of mine. This provides very fast energy to the brain from fat instead of sugar. And it turns off food cravings and sugar cravings for hours and hours. Dave Asprey's just opened his first store hawking this concoction. I've made it my mission to make the changes in the environment around me that make me more effective at everything I do. Things that make us better humans are what I'm interested in. My mission with Bulletproof is to show people what it feels like to be stronger and to have the energy and to be able to bring it every day. Coffee's just the beginning. All right, here he is, Mr. Dave Asprey from Bulletproof Coffee. So thanks for being here, Mr. Dave. You are here from where? I'm on Vancouver Island, where I live. Awesome. All right, well, what about the miracles of technology we have here? This is great, and you look awesome. So just for people who don't know who Dave Asprey is and what you do, can you give the audience just a brief commercial about the man, and uh, what do you call yourself? I'm a professional biohacker. And like, what is that? This, a biohacker is someone who changes the environment around them so they have more control of their biology. I've lost 100 pounds, raised my IQ very substantially using technology, you know, changing what I eat, changing how I exercise, changing how I meditate. And I've spent 15 years and about a half a million dollars doing that. And I write about that, I share about it, and I run the top ranked radio show on iTunes in health and fitness called Bulletproof Radio. Awesome. So. What do you think right now? I know you and I have had some time to chat, and I love the theme and the focus, the goal. You know, I've obviously talked about how much I love Bulletproof. But what do you think the biggest health challenge is that is facing the world today? And what are you certain of that you can change? The biggest health challenge facing the world today is completely non-obvious. And, and my whole career has been around event correlation, like figuring out this is related to this, but we didn't notice yet. And here's our challenge. It's our soil. We have ruined much of the soil we use to grow our food. So we're getting less nutrition from our food than we ever did before. And we're eating more toxins than we ever did before. And that's leading to a whole host of problems like heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and just 
being fat and tired all the time. That's what happened to me. And I got tired of being tired and tired of being fat and I hacked it. And it's not as hard as it sounds, but you have to actually do what works instead of what's supposed to work and actually doesn't. Can you remember the day or the moment when you started your reinvention and got inspired to start Bulletproof? Because I think that's really, again, going back to what you just said, here you had a big pain, you saw it, and it was a big uh, problem um, that no one else saw. Not to mention the fact that if you think about the, I would imagine there must be billions of coffee drinkers worldwide, right? I mean, yep. and, and this isn't just about coffee. This is a much bigger idea. I mean, Bulletproof by itself is being a coffee. I mean, you could say Starbucks is one of those. It's a multi-billion dollar um, sure. brand, but Bulletproof is a lot bigger than coffee. But let's just talk about again, what's the day, the moment when you started your reinvention and got inspired to start Bulletproof? It goes back to before I started blogging. When I was about 26, I made $6 million at the company that hosted Google's first servers. And I was, I was pretty happy, except I weighed almost 300 pounds, or so I had to weigh 300 pounds. My weight was fluctuating all over the place. And my energy was going away. So here I am, I'm like, I have money, but now I don't have my brain. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep working even because I'm just so tired and just discombobulated all the time. So I committed then to spending money and time on hacking myself instead of on you know, buying some fancy car. And I lost the money two years later when the dot-com crash happened. So I, I've been basically taking a mortgage payment every month for a long time and paying it into my own body, into my own mind. I've traveled the world. I've interviewed hundreds and hundreds of experts to figure out, like, all right, how do I get control of this you know, bag of meat that I walk around in? And that whole that whole process taught me a lot and I sat down after I'd gotten my brain back after I lost the weight and I was still nuancing the system but I said you know what if someone had sat down and told me when I was 16 or 20 or 25 what I know now it would have saved me hundreds of thousands of dollars in just thousands of hours of suffering just wasted time wasted energy feeling crappy so I started writing and I said, I'm gonna write this blog and I'm already a VP at a big company. I already have stock options, like I, I'm, I'm comfortable. So I said, if I can get five people who went through what I, who would go through what I went through and I can help them, then I win. And that was the start of Bulletproof. It was actually a mission-based company, not a financial company. Eventually I said, you know, I'm gonna make a product. I throw away three quarters of the coffee that I buy because I drink it and then I feel jittery and anxious and like coffee crankiness. And I don't like the way I feel there. So I just wanted coffee that always made me feel good. So my idea was, I'm gonna solve this problem for me. I'm guessing there's 100 people who care about the purity of their coffee, not just the taste, but the purity, as much as I do, and they'll probably buy it and that'll help me pay for the lab testing that I'm doing. All right. That was the start of Bulletproof. I had no idea how many people wanted the coffee. And my best idea, you know, putting butter in this brain octane in, in coffee, I posted that in my first blog post. Hey, you want to really amp up your brain? This idea works, and there's a bunch of reasons for it. Here you go, world. And you know what? It was a product and an idea whose time had come. It works, and tens of millions of cups of coffee later, yeah, Bulletproof coffee is a real thing. It, it's a trademarked thing, and it works, and it works consistently and reliably, so people talk about it. And so I'm not really a marketing genius. I'm actually a product creation guy, where I made a product that works so well, people talked about it, whether or not I, I had ever met them. All right, so you kind of answered the next question I had here, which is, I was going to ask you, what is it about Bulletproof that struck a nerve with so many people? Because you know, when you talk to people the first time, you say, look, you're going to take a certain kind of coffee that um, is mold and toxin free, put in a blob of butter, and then add oil. And of course, I guess, you know, it's like, and people go, ew, that sounds horrible. Because the idea of butter, I mean, they've been putting cream in there for a long time, so it's not oh, that yeah. far away. But um, what is it that struck the nerve? Or was it just the fact that you kind of had a cult following that expanded and started a mainstream? It wasn't the cult following at all. It's actually an objection to overcome. People are like, oh, butter and coffee, that would be gross. Uh, just uh, a couple of days ago, Jennifer Aniston's like, oh, I would never try that, that's gross. And I'm like, well, that's funny because half your friends have tried it and they love it. And, and so you, you get this kind of, uh, this idea that like that would be gross, but then you talk to people a little bit about the science and then you say, you know, are you tired of being hungry all the time? Because this is going to change your hormones. And the coolest thing I could possibly do is hand them a cup of it and say, why don't you just try it one time? And they drink it and they're like, 
oh my God, you weren't lying. My brain hasn't felt this good in years and I don't have any cravings for sugar. I'm like, okay, things are different for me today. And that's why this has spread like wildfire. It's just because the biological effects were so strong. We've been training people to eat not enough energy. So they're kind of hungry all the time. So they're distracted by food like 24 seven. It's always in the back of their mind. And then they don't function very well. And your brain doesn't function well when you're lacking energy. So what I said was, well, what are your hormones made out of? They're made out of saturated fat, and cholesterol. And what is a healthy form of fat that we should be eating that has been falsely accused? Butter is. And I say falsely accused in that the American Heart Association changed its perspective on saturated fat and specifically on cholesterol and food. So now we have this idea where we were all making a mistake. And when you drink a cup of this coffee, you're acknowledging there might've been a mistake and seeing the results. This is that idea of controlling your own health. Everyone feels the difference when they drink it and then they can make a decision. Do I want to put milk in coffee that makes me have crashes and anxiety or do I want to put butter and brain octane in these coffee beans that make me feel amazing? You know, that's what I do every morning. I have for a very long time and there's a reason for it. There's a rationale and it works. It's that second it works thing that drives it home for people. All right, and that's okay. So it's it's just a quantity of social proof and, and you've become very good at communicating the benefits and what they are and then having the additional social proof that just is, is building momentum. And I think that's the key thing. It's like, how do you get attention? How do you build momentum? That leads me to the next one, which is, um, think through the steps that got you to getting major media attention in the media that took Bulletproof from relative obscurity to major media attention. And you just mentioned Jennifer Aniston, for example, and I remember I think it was on either Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel. There was someone on the show who was drinking the coffee and talking about Bulletproof coffee. Shailene, yeah. Shailene Woodley, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Coffee. Yeah, this is it. I think since you were coming on, I started drinking. You guys know about Bulletproof coffee? It will change your life. So you've had, you know, it's like, how, did, how do you get that kind of attention? I mean, people would pay and do pay a fortune either for endorsements, um, to get some sort of celebrity attachment, or just to get mentioned like that. And it's happening like crazy. So why and how are you doing that? Well, I'd love to say that I have this master plan of media manipulation. You know, I found out about the Jimmy Fallon thing. Someone posted on Facebook and said, hey, Dave, have you seen Jimmy Fallon? I'm like, really? I'm like, holy crap, Shailene. I, I think Shailene's awesome. I've never met her. I've never talked to her before. You know what happened? She discovered Bulletproof Coffee. She loved it. And one of her friends probably told her about it. But there was no marketing there. Uh, uh, about a month ago on Supergirl, there was a whole thing where like, like Ali McBeal uh, comes on and, and it like talks about Bulletproof, Bulletproof. Coffee. Uh are you asking me if I'm bullet bulletproof coffee? It's made from unsalted grass-fed butter with an extract of coconut oil that improves brain energy. I will need a cup of it every hour. Crappy coffee has toxins in it that will rob me of my creativity and my vigor. I don't even know how much it would have cost if I had paid for that, but I didn't know what was going to happen. It just popped up. And that was uh, another friend, a guy who used to play Superman, Brandon Routh, uh, yeah. who wrote the foreword for, um, for Bulletproof the Cookbook. Um, he wrote the foreword and we got connected because he found the Bulletproof diet. He tried it and lost a bunch of weight and like his brain turned back on. And so he's he's become a friend. But he I'm sure he said something to a producer somewhere. But this is all organic. This is grassroots. This is not manipulated. This is not paid for. And it's not even planned. It, it's the strength of the product. This would not happen. Like if, if I was to basically go out and buy you know, whatever street grade beans I could find and say these are special beans. It, look, the effect wouldn't be there and people would be like, these are beans and it, it wouldn't happen the way it happens. It's because it works. And, and this is the biggest thing I could tell people. Don't put all of the wood behind the arrow unless you have a really good tip on the arrow. Because it's really easy to, to apply good marketing to a mediocre product. And if you do that, you're going to probably make money. Right? And you'll get people to use it, but you won't do the maximum good you could do. And you won't get the kind of engagement, the fanatical stuff that happens. And, and the second thing that I think that plays a role here is the mission for Bulletproof is to help a lot of people not go through all the crap that I went through. And that's why we fund documentaries on things that are making millions of people weak that they don't know about, things that we don't sell. And that's why we have three or four million people a month coming to the blog and the radio show 
to learn about stuff that we don't sell. It's because it's part of our mission. So people see that, they sense that, and then they benefit. Whether or not they ever buy anything isn't really my goal. I, I just want to help them. And I know that if I help someone become a, a nicer person because their brain is fully energized, well, eventually it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back in some way or another. It's kind of that idea of karma. And if more marketers had that, how do I help everyone instead of how do I sell the most of this mediocre widget that I have? I think the world would be a very different place. And so I'm, I'm all about that extreme level of excellence and stuff that I want to give to my kids, stuff that I want to use myself. And I just do it assuming that some small percentage of people are going to want things that good and that I'm going to make them as available and as affordable as I can. And it's part of my mission to tell people why they might want to consider moving in that direction, even if they don't use my stuff. So I want to get into a couple really, really specific things. Because you said something earlier. This, these weren't your exact words. But you said, I want to give people you know, $500,000 worth of knowledge and experience that I've experimented on my own body which you've taken the risks, you know, in some of these cases you take risks because of what you've done, no question <laughs> oh, yeah. about it. And, um, and also, it's time compression. You know, if you could compress 20 years into three months and know you had better uh, brain function, you could be more productive, you can live better. I mean, that's why this, the whole theme of this is amplify your life of this program. Mm -hmm. So I want to get to a couple of very specific body, brain, or nutrition hacks okay. that you feel provide the greatest benefits with the least amount of work. So we're going to apply the Pareto principle here, or even better than that, instead of 80-20, I like 98-2. You know, if you had to just <laughs> had 2% of your normal day to get yep. maximum optimization, get the most done, can you think of one, two, or three major hacks? And I'm curious, too, how you discovered them. You know, what's the story behind this discovery? Sure. The, the most important one is Bulletproof Coffee. And there's a very specific reason for this that I wrote about in the Bulletproof Diet. And there's this part of your brain that is there to keep your meat alive. And it basically says run away from scary things, uh, which is a big thing that we do. That's kind of anxiety and, and lack of attention. It says eat everything and, so you don't starve, which is good for the species survival. And then it, it also says have sex with everything to make sure the species survives. So that's our animal instincts. But those animal instincts keep interjecting themselves into our normal thinking and getting stuff done during the day. And so, they offer some specific challenges to society as well. But anyway, they, they do indeed. <laughs> In fact, every single bad thing that happens usually comes from one of those three <laughs> behaviors, right? Yeah. So my hack there is, all right, how do I whack at least one of those on the top of the head? In fact, I, I, all three of them are, are trainable and manageable. But hunger's the worst one. So you're sitting there in a meeting, it's 10 a.m., and someone puts a plate of bagels or cookies in front of you. And the little voice in your head goes, eat a cookie. And you go, no. Eat a cookie, no. And what's actually happening there is you're making decisions. You got interrupted by your body. You made a decision, interruption decision. Constant interruptions and constant decisions sap your willpower. This has been proven. So when I do Bulletproof Coffee, I put the butter, the right beans, and I put brain octane oil in it. Brain octane oil raises ketones, these, these fat burning molecules in your body, more than fasting, more than coconut oil, more than MCT oil. And so you get this extra boost of these fat burning molecules. When they go up to a certain level, which is pretty achievable with brain octane, it turns off a hunger hormone called ghrelin, and it turns on a fullness hormone called CCK. So my breakfast hacks my hormones, so the voice in my head that tells me to eat everything shuts the hell up. And that frees up a third of my extra attention and decision making and willpower to change the world or to play with my kids or do whatever I'm going to do. But it's not wasted anymore. So stop wasting things is number one. And for me, Bulletproof Coffee absolutely transformed my ability to do what I do as a human. I put brain octane oil, I sprinkle it on every meal, I go, take it with me to restaurants, especially on the road, and I'm just never hungry, ever. I could have a meal, I could not have a meal, it doesn't matter. I own my hormones, they don't own me. And that totally changed everything. So I'm going to ask that question again because I'm going to ask for something specific because okay. I know you're doing stuff right now with tools and resources that all of us have available. So we got the bulletproof coffee thing, the increasing the fat, the benefits there. I mean, it's pretty yep. obvious. And again, that's something you can measure, you can control, you can actually see in the blood, and you notice it right away. Yep. But what's something that you're doing or seeing right now that someone can actually test out themselves okay. and maybe see a benefit right away? Let's talk about a box breath. Because most people, especially me, would will go into a 
the sympathetic mode. This is fight or flight mode. This is that other thing that the Labrador in your head does, that uh, what should I run away from kind of distractibility. And I've turned that off in my software. It happens much, much less frequently. And one of the biggest things you could do, and you can do it right now, you can just join in, it, it's called a box breath. And what you do is you breathe in for f five seconds like this. And then you hold your breath for five seconds. That's the top of the box. And then you slowly exhale for five seconds. That's the other side of the box. And then you hold your breath empty for five seconds. Right. And if you do that three or four times when you wake up or while you're driving or anytime you're feeling particularly stressed, it basically gets in and it interrupts this, this thing that happens inside our mind where we get stuck in sympathetic mode and it shifts us back into parasympathetic or rest and relax mode. If you would just take a few minutes each day to do that whenever you notice you're feeling more stressed or you want to yell at someone, you're having road rage, or you're just feeling really frustrated, it'll actually change the entire way you view the world. And it's a really powerful way to use your breath to affect your heart and then to use your heart to affect your brain. So it's almost like a reverse way of hacking your brain. Instead of starting with the brain, you start with the breath, which changes the brain. All right, well, so now I want to go into just a little bit of business-related stuff, which sure. is, why don't you describe uh, what you think your biggest uh, mistake is? And I want to get specific here from a business um, perspective. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you've been around the block. You know, you've kind of gone through your challenges. And, um, you know, Bulletproof isn't your first rodeo. Uh, but it is definitely, as far as I know, one of the most visible ones, if not the most visible one. So I'm curious what you believe your biggest mistake is that you've made so far, and what you, you've learned from it, and then how you corrected it. Can you think of a specific example or story? You know, one of the problems of being, quote, the idea guy is that you have a lot of ideas. Huh. And I have an amazing, loyal team uh, who I, I just love working with every day. And I can break them with ideas. Uh, like Literally, I, I send text messages, uh, emails every day saying, hey, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? <laughs> and the problem with having a really loyal team uh, who is sh is who shares your vision, shares your mission to help a lot of people, is that they will work to do all those things. And when you have CEO power, uh, you also have kind of CEO blindness because you say, let's do this. And what you mean is, is this a good idea? Tell me if it's something that is going to have the impact we want and is going to actually be achievable with the resources that we're willing to commit and without interrupting something else we're doing. The problem is when you're CEO, the typical answer is, yes, sir. And then people will go off to do it, and then they'll march off a cliff. So I've been really careful now on using something called an impact filter, which comes from Dan Sullivan and Strategic yep. Coach, to, to kind of figure out, all right, which of my ideas is good? And then just continuously almost beating on my people the fact that they're empowered to say no or to say not now. So the mistake I made was not creating a list of uh, not now. <laughs> like, okay, it's a good idea, or maybe it's a bad idea, whatever. But we're going to do it later and we're going to agree to table it versus leaving it kind of hanging out there and stressing everyone out. Okay, so I'm going to yeah. give you a couple of uh, rapid fire questions here. Okay. So number one is, what do you wish you knew when you started that you know now? So let's look back, you know, since, uh, you know, we could say the, the, the Silicon Valley experience up until now, but if it's the bulletproof experience now, you know, again, the, the game's definitely different. You're on a fast track towards building a business that, unless something crazy happens, it's gonna go public. It just, it, it seems to yeah. me that's obvious. You've, you've managed to get into Silicon Valley, raising Silicon Valley money now. So, you know, that's a big, big hurdle that, uh, and, and building a genuine business with some value, branding, and you know, all the pieces are really falling in place. So, what do you think uh, you wish you knew that if you knew that, it could have accelerated the process and compressed time for you, and it could certainly compress time for a viewer or a listener? So I've run evangelism for three different publicly traded global companies. Uh, so like I, I'm trained and practiced in that art, but where I hadn't had as much experience was around hiring, uh, hiring and, and firing. And I've learned a lot about how to hire a really good team. And one of the things that, that you can do as an entrepreneur is you can you know, be slow to hire, except if you're slow to hire, you're moving quickly. You actually need warm bodies in seats doing work. But I actually think you should be relatively fast to hire. But if someone's not working out, 
instead of dragging it out for a very long time, the kindest thing you could do is to say, look, it's not working. So rather than you know continuing to date for three years and then deciding not to get married, we're actually going to cut it off and see other people. So what uh, what I recommend entrepreneurs do is when you find someone you think they're a good fit, you vet them carefully, you check references, and if it feels like like there's a good vibe, you can give it a try. But if it's really not working out in three months, you put them on a plan, you uh, you you let them know there's a problem, you communicate really clearly, and then you you just you cut ties. And I think you'll grow much more quickly. And actually, you'll have less stress. And the people who aren't working out, they know they're not working out. They're as stressed as you are. So what you do is you give them a reasonable severance package, and you acknowledge that that didn't work. You use that as a data point, not as failure, and you move on. And that's something that I, I probably could have done much, much earlier in the company. And it would have been a good thing. But I'm, I'm stoked with where we are. And I just realized that there are some situations where it would have been a kinder thing for me to do to move more quickly than I did. Yep, very, very good. OK, I like that. That's interesting. So um, I just have uh, two more here really fast. And first one is, um, from a fun perspective, what's the most fun you've had in the past two years? And what did you do? Hmm. Well, there's there's kind of family fun. Yeah. And then there's sort of you know entrepreneur human non-family kind of fun. Something that blew up your brain and you're like, holy All right. crap! This is Here's, like. Poof. All right. I decided I, through Joe Polish, uh, who runs Genius Network, this this amazing group of entrepreneurs who get together a few times a year and really is inspiring. Just me. left there. I was just there, so I. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, I'm See, actually, we, yeah. We hang with the right people, and, right. and that alone will change your game as an entrepreneur. To be around you know, 250 other CEOs who who are kicking as much ass as you are, like it's really inspiring. Yeah. But I sat next to Peter Diamandis, who's you know, the guy behind like SpaceX. I didn't plan to. I'm read actually going to see him immediately after I finish my interview with oh, you. So there sweet. you go. So, so it's same circle. Yep. I'll be at Abundance 360, his big event coming up here in another week, yeah. and uh, we've become friends. Uh, since then, but what I did is is I decided I wanted to support the X Prize for global learning, and so I went on the global or the X Prize tenth anniversary for the Ansari X Prize. The, the the way we got private space tourism to happen was because of Peter's work. A new documentary just came out with Nick Nanton, and it's it's one of those things where. It, it's humbling to hang out with him. And what I got to do was hang out with about, oh, 30 or 40 people, most of whom are very heavy duty investors in space and actually fly around in private jets and hold lunar rovers, meet the people who are actually actively mining asteroids. And what I learned in just three days of hanging out with these people, all of them are from other planets. Uh, compared to to you know just the average interaction you have because they're dreaming so incredibly big that it absolutely upped my game and just helped me to think even bigger. So uh, to be able to say, look, this is actually going to go to Mars and I'm holding it. I have video of these things running over my toes. And to just understand the thousands and thousands of people who are doing things, to go to SpaceX and see uh, actually them 3D printing the rocket engines that were just used on the rocket that landed itself. Like this is where the world is changing, and it's almost invisible uh, to everyone because it's happening at such a rapid space, and it sounds like science fiction. But when you go there and you look at it and you spend time with the minds like like Bert Rutan, who are actually doing this, and, and Dean Kamen, and all these people, you're like, okay, I can do better, I can do more. And so in the last couple of years, that just absolutely blew my mind. I'm like, all right, I got to do more of this. It's one of the most important things you can do as an entrepreneur is invest. And it's usually not cheap to go to events like that. It's not cheap because you only want to spend time with people who care a lot and are willing to put something on the line to do it. But man, I, I make it a point to spend time with people who are changing the world every time I get a chance. Otherwise, I don't change the world as much as I can. It's so true, man. It's, it's, it's all about who you're spending your time with. And I, I, I heard a great saying from Naval Ravikant. I was on a summit cruise earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't done that, you got to do that too. It's another That's incredible. big, big brain thing. Yeah. So yeah. Naval said, the reason to make money is you can spend more time with the people you want to spend time with. And that's a perfect example of it. It just gives you yeah. more and more access. And um, I, I totally agree with that. I really resonate with that message. So here's the last uh, question I have for you, which is if you could do it all over again, what would you want to change? Oh, 
Well, if you're talking about just, just bulletproof, there's probably one answer, but the, the one thing that I didn't understand throughout a lot of my life uh, was I, I had this deep seated belief that like you kind of have to go it alone, you know, at every man is an island kind of thing. And so the number of people who really, really want to help you is almost infinite. If you ask for help, if you're doing good things, I, I remember I was a freshman in college at UC Santa Barbara and, and this really successful entrepreneur came and you know, gave a talk and was like, no, you can call me. Like, I really, I, I want to work with you guys. And I just didn't believe him. And here I am like trying to start companies back then, but unwilling to accept help. And so I wish just earlier on in my career, I had been a little bit less fearful and angry and a little bit more willing to just say, you know, I don't, I don't know how to do this. I, I want some help instead of like being unwilling to admit that I needed help. I would have progressed my career a lot faster and, and probably been less of a total jerk a lot of the time. So now I'm willing to ask for help and I'm willing to provide help to people who are um, who are actively working uh, for the good of everyone because it, it's actually fun for people as you succeed to be able to help someone who's working to succeed who has great potential. Right, that's really good. I, I love that, that's, uh, that's awesome. So. Here's what uh, I'm gonna do to just pull this together here is I've set up a link right now. It's mrbz.com slash bulletproof. And I'm gonna just seed something in your head right now, um, which is do you have something that you wanna share or give away to our viewers and listeners at that link? And it can be anything, so think about it for a little while. And there I'll also okay. have show notes for this program um, that we've taken and um, the questions as well as some of the answers so you can sift through them really quickly and some of the references to other things you talked about. But do, do you have something you want to share or give away um, for our viewers and listeners? And I'll make sure we've got a link to your uh, podcast and, and products as well. So, uh, yeah, I've got a, a neat report on supplements for extending human performance. There's all kinds of stuff out there about like, here's the vitamins you can take, you know, to be healthy, blah, blah, blah. But over the course of uh, a, more than a decade of working with, with people on unusual things, I, I put together a pretty cool report on that stuff. So I think we can get that out. Okay, awesome. So I'll make sure I've got a note and we'll have a link. So the place to go is mrbz.com slash bulletproof. You can go grab um, that special report from Dave. So. Dave, uh, thank you. This was freaking awesome. Great information knowledge, and I can't wait to have you back in the studio when we can make our schedules come together. But I want to make sure that you are in the first episode of the show. So are there any final words you want to share before I let you go? Uh, Mike, thanks for supporting Bulletproof. Thanks for being an investor. Uh, I have dozens of investors who, like you, really care and are working to make a difference. And, and I didn't talk about that, but the people who back your company matter enormously. So I, I work to find good people to back Bulletproof, and I'm grateful to count you among them. Thanks, man. It's an honor. It certainly is. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to a quick break. Um, say hi to Dave, and I'll make sure we also have a survey so you can uh, submit some other questions when I have him back in the studio. So this is Mr. Dave Asprey, CEO of Bulletproof Coffee. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Mike. So what did you think of the uh, interview? Amazing. I mean, just the business mind, the savvy, the way that he thought through the product was. Dave's an amazing guy, super smart. He's a lot of fun to hang out with. Incredible you. takeaway. So what I thought I would do, you asked me to do a little bit of an overview of the, uh, the interview. Uh -huh. And as you know, Mike, I've been doing the Bullyproof Diet now for a full two weeks. Uh -huh. and, uh, it's Bulletproof. That's what I said, the Bullyproof Diet yeah. that I've been on for Bulletproof. two. Bulletproof. They're, uh, they're sponsors. That actually makes more sense. The yeah. bulletproof diet. So in the interview that you did with Don Asprey, Dave, one of, Dave Asprey, Dave, one of the things that he talked about was how you put the whole bulletproof coffee, coffee package together. Yeah. And yep. so I got some ingredients, and I'm going to walk through this because if you look online, you'll see there's a lot of discussion as to how to actually do it right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important. The reason why is when you're doing a diet, a lot of people take a diet, it fails on them, and they don't know why, yep. and they realize later on that they didn't follow it according to the formula. And so we're going to walk through the actual setup on how to do this. Now, the first thing is you start with genuine bulletproof, bulletproof, bulletproof mold-free yeah. coffee. And we're actually going to make yeah. some right here. All right. We're going to do right. like, we're going to pretend like we're on a cooking show here. So you start with the coffee, a generous amount. We just start, you know, with, uh, with that. Let's assume we're making cups for Mike and I. So there's probably a good place to start. Now, okay. one of the ingredients that is in incredibly important is this Kerrygold butter. You want to start with a silver package, as you can see demonstrated here. Uh -huh. Very yeah. important that's, to start with the, gold the Kerrygold, and you want it to be grass-fed. Yeah. So so you just take the butter. I just un unpackaged it right here. So you just take the butter as uh, as advertised, and you just um, you just put it in the blender. That's right, where right. you start. Now, 
the next ingredient, and this is interesting stuff, this is called brain octane. So this is, um, if you look very closely on the label, you can actually see it's clearly written. It's actually the other name for it is colon blow. Oh, yeah. Okay, because you do not want to be anywhere uh, like far away from a bathroom when you try this stuff. I think we've got some measurement and challenges here, but yes. you just continue so, on. Um, it just says t a tablespoon roughly. I just, I play it by ear. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, see. I get okay. a right. general idea of what that might uh -huh. be. Measure with a micrometer, cut with an axe, I always say. Just yeah. get it close, okay? Now, continue with the bulletproof method. This is where a lot of the blogs online really ruin it. Uh -huh. um, I go with the chocolate fuel bar, and this is a, it's just a little extra thing that you can add into your bulletproof coffee, and that's just kind of, just to give it a little bit of sweetness and flavor. Now, Mike, this is the last ingredient, and this is important. Uh -huh. Most people miss this one. And so what you want to find is you want to find a really good um, anejo. This is what really works. And I'm going to explain the chemistry this, behind this in a second. I, I think I, I understand why we've had some bathroom challenges yeah, so, lately. And some no, and again, you've got to follow the formula. This is 100% pure agave anejo. Uh -huh. This is from our sponsor, uh, Euphoric. And this is a, a really good tequila. Again, with the tequila, um, it's, it's a, the measurement is important, uh -huh. but you just get it kind of close. And so uh -huh. as you're working yeah. through the uh, Bulletproof Coffee, I mean, you just start. This is probably good enough for the, fr uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. Just play it by ear. So, okay. All so right. now, as we get it into the blender, this is important. And I'm going to share with you some of the results. They've been fantastic, by the way. Uh -huh. As you get it into the blender, um, you're going to set your speed. Now, a lot of folks, when they do this method, uh, they just push start and the blender just goes crazy. That's not what you want to do. There's some chemical things that are happening in here. And when you just go crazy on the blender, it's not going to work for you. So, so what you want, there's two very important processes here. First, the tequila and the caffeine molecules, molecules need to bond. When uh -huh. that happens, it creates maximum solubility. The second thing is the butter, people just purify the butter. No. no. You mean puree it? No, okay. no. You, chunks. You like chunky chunks. butter. No, it's, th it's for the body. I mean, this I is see. a diet. This isn't supposed to taste great. All so, right. so remember what I said, Mike? It's pulse. It's just uh -huh. pulse. You just, all this button down here is just pulse. It's just every once in a while, it's another, like, another, like another one, just like uh -huh. that pulse. Uh -huh. Do you uh -huh. see how that works? Yeah, look, yeah. You can actually see that butter. Uh -huh. That butter is just, it's saying, it's saying, I love this. Yeah. That butter's, it's not, it's not blended, no. And the caffeine and the tequila right here, it's just, those molecules, uh -huh. and, and you can actually hear, you can hear them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what there. you're this doing. Is this is a science great, experiment that's happening. Uh -huh. And um, then, then, okay, so, and then it's the steam kind of mm -hmm, wafts mm -hmm, off. Mm -hmm. And if you take a, I mean, if you just smell that, it's, I mean, it's, whew, it's got some kick. So nice pour job. it right in there, kind of get it all mixed mm -hmm. up. I'm going to give you yeah, a little I think bit I'll pass. of that, too. I've got, I've got mine already. You're going to have to try There's a little uh, excess butter. You can yeah. always scoop some of that in yeah, there yeah, if you right. want to. Um, now, last thing, and this is important when you're on the Bulletproof diet, is as you're drinking this, um, uh, it's all the way down in one shot. So some people like to sip. The body prefers that. It mm -hmm. just goes straight down. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to take it, and, um, and you're just going to go for it. So, Mike, if you want to just... Uh, if you want to just join me, it's got to go all the way. I think so. I'm going to stick with mine. I'm going to stick with mine, Ed. So while Ed is uh, drinking up over <laughs> here and uh, you got swigging just, his just coffee, <laughs> um, what I'll, I'll tell you is, if you haven't figured it out already, <laughs> that is definitely it's <laughs> not, not, not so, the way you make bullet so hold on coffee I'm here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So no, this is it's normally like this. It's just yeah, your yeah. body is adjusting to that. I think uh, I think uh, when we finish this show. Ed's going to be running to the uh, uh, restroom in a very uh, short period of time. Nice job, Ed. So now that we've got some productivity challenges okay. that we're working towards. Uh, so now, all right. So now for the result. So <coughs> two yeah. weeks is enough to get a, <sighs> okay, so two weeks is enough to know how your body's responding. Uh -huh. And I can tell you without a doubt. If you're spending, my, yeah, with that kind of oil and butter, I think you're going to spend a lot of time on the john. My morning productivity has been through the roof uh -huh. and fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the mornings have been fun. The afternoons, I usually go down for a, maybe a three to four hour nap. Yeah. Just out. I mean, out. Yeah. But I look at my notes in the mor from the morning and... They're even, probably pretty creative, Even though they? I can't read them, uh -huh. they're extremely creative. So Very I'm 100% nice. behind the diet and um, I don't know. I mean, it's just... You know, oh, don't it's, do any it's more going that. against the grain and contrarian. We, you're not going to make it the rest of the show, Ed. But uh, but it's good. All right. Well, while Ed is uh, finished giving us some fantastic instructions here, I think we're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we've got some more great content for you. Don't go anywhere. 
Now, if you want to burn fat all day long, it all starts with the morning. I'm going to show you how to have your perfect fat burning morning. It all starts with waking up and grabbing yourself a glass of hot water with lemon. The lemon is amazing because it helps you slow down the release of blood sugar when you do have that meal. But before the meal, I want you to get on your exciser or some other great piece of burst equipment. I love my exciser. And you're gonna do some high intensity interval training to get your metabolism going and get that fat burning. Then have a cup of Bulletproof coffee. Why coffee's so amazing is coffee is gonna help be thermic and release that fat and then wait about an hour and have yourself a shake. Now the reason I love the shake is because it's the perfect trifecta of protein, fat, and fiber. What that does is it helps get your metabolism going while keeping your blood sugar doing a nice, slow, steady release. The protein keeps you full for hours along with the fiber and the fat signals your brain to say, I'm full. So you'll be able to go four to six hours before your next meal because you're gonna be using stored fat for energy. There it is, start the morning fat burning, burn fat all day long. Mike's Gadget Giveaway. All right, we're back. Mike's Gadget Giveaway. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sexy voice. That's I know. My I tried out Kristen. for the role of the uh, voiceover, and uh -huh. uh, you chose someone else. I understand I, why. I now. thought we had to feminize this a little bit <laughs> oh, and give it right. a little extra okay. feel. Good. So uh, I thought that'd be a good setup for my favorite <laughs> new gadget. Yes, I it's, know. It's you right gave me here. One of these, actually. Yeah. This is the uh, Apple TV, and I'll hold up the box here. What's cool about it, it's a brand new device, and I think it's a massive and major game changer. And um, first of all, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the interface before I get to the hardware itself. Yeah. Um, here you can see this is what it looks like. One interesting thing, now of course it's close to game time right now. They've got an app now, so you can actually watch the Super Bowl live on Apple TV, well, but there's which, all kinds of sporting events that are available is good, on it. Which should tell you the way TV is going here. I don't so. have cable anymore, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Now, the other thing that they added is a full-on app store. So um, they've got an enormous number of apps up here, and you can go across. And uh, the, the remote, by the way, they fixed the remote. It is now an RF remote. I'll hold the, this up here so you can see it. But it is much, much easier to use. And it's got a trackpad that's built in and still just actually five buttons. But anyway, you, you actually, can um, and, um, this is one of the cool things about this thing is series on your remote now. Yeah, you can so tell what like, you want to do. So like when you drink too much Bulletproof coffee with the tequila in it yeah. and you're like tanked, you can be like, Siri, put my Game of Thrones on. Right. And it works. It works. It's pretty impressive. So, All Siri, right. delete my Netflix browsing history. There we go. Right. So just All right. Run. Back to Ed Rush. All right. So here's what we got here. Um, first of all, they've got games on here, they've got Netflix, HBO, Showtime, and they have subscriptions. So you can actually just subscribe to HBO yep. or Showtime. That's what I do now. Uh, the experience is fantastic. Um, there's also some very, very good looking games if you got kids. And this is a, this is really a, um, an experience. I'm very, oh, very back. impressed. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, so you exactly. Were this recently. Yeah, there you go. So you can jump uh, and fly around and all that sort of stuff. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Something else you can do after your tequila right. night. Yep. By the way, this Apple TV, you know, it used to be consumer. So as, a, as, as a folks like us, we would watch it. But now, as product creators, there's a way for us to yeah. use it to actually create an Yeah, experience. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of go through that. So one of them, I'm going to uh, bring up, like, uh, let's say, for example, QVC, which is an app here that I installed. Now, they've got, like, streaming video on here. And at any time, let's say you could be watching something, you could click Speed Buy, for example, oh. and actually click and buy something. And I spend hours. On QVC. Literally now, hours a day yeah. looking at the Pollock still that's, gold that's, cuff bracelets. That's not the important thing. I think here's the important thing. For <laughs> us as, as product creators, what we can now do We can is, do QVC. Well, you could do that. You yeah. could actually um, now sell content. So the old days, like if you create an app right now, and of course now that it's open for developers, they can create an app, and Apple takes 30%, you get 70%. But you can sell content as much as $9,999.99 wow. 
and they only charge you 3%. So it's the Apple Pay. So it's just a standard. Same as, a mer same as you would do if a credit card processor. Right. Yeah. So what I think this, this allows us to do is we could now create products, we could create content, and create co content to deliver. You could create a paid um, show. You could basically create your own college on demand or anything specialized. Right. You could even do corporate training if you wanted. So I'm really impressed with that. And then, of course, um, some of the standard stuff is here. You know, if you want to watch trailers and, and see what's going on with movies. I mean, the Apple TV for me is one of my favorite, favorite gadgets. The other thing that's really, really cool about it is um, if you have, let's say, uh, an, an Apple device, you can actually use AirPlay and um, push your device right to it like this. Wow. So now um, I can go back here and show my app so for training and That's that cool. kind of thing. I mean, it is so handy. So you can also send video to it as well. So so, so really quickly back to the product creator thing. So mm -hmm. we are, we've got a number of programs. We have people yep. who follow us who, who create programs anywhere from $20 up to $20,000. Yep. The, theoretically, actually not even theoretically, re in reality what we could do and we're planning on doing this is take your product Mm -hmm. Put it onto the Apple Store and have another vehicle to sell it, which is absolutely a total game changer. It gets opinion. back to you everywhere now. Yep. Be seen, heard, viewed, listened to anytime, anywhere, anytime, on demand. Create your content once and get it distributed like we're doing with the show. Even so, onto someone's TV set. Yep. So, and by the way, you can get an Apple TV for free. I'm going to be giving one of these away. That's why we do the Mike yes. Gadget giveaway. And all you have to do I'm in. is either visit mrbz.com slash show and sign up right now or text MK show to 58885 so that uh, that again is mrbz.com slash show or text your uh, just text MK show to 58885 all right so what I'm going to do the very last thing here is I'm just going to open so up the box you can see it you can I get think in I there. won all right yeah it's yeah. the first one right yeah we're going to announce the winner at, during the next show, Great. not this show. All right, well, I'm I'm in first. All right, yeah, yeah, I, I can tell. It. Yeah, you'll be the first one. I'm you already got one. What are you talking <laughs> about here? So I'll take myself out of the running, but I think it's you will. really easy. Yeah, it's right it's easy. All you got to do, yeah, text yeah. text your your just text MK show to five triple eight five. All right. That's so now what you do right. is I'm going to show you the uh, Apple TV. I'm going to open it up and unbox it for you right now. Um, what you get is the remote. Pretty simple which we've already covered. You get a cable so you can charge it, plugs into any USB device, and then the actual device, this is brand new, just got another one here because we're hooking it up to the other TV. Um, I will show you the back side of it here because it's really nice, pretty simple. Man. You just have a uh, port, it's, it's either Wi-Fi or wireless. You've got a port for your cable connection if you want, an HDMI, the uh, uh, charger, charger there, digitally. and then uh, you've got the, uh, the power. So super simple, super easy, and um, so that lightning connector. you don't have connector. to have a, um, a guy with plumber's crack show up at your house yeah. in a rape van, come in and take a wire from the neighbor's house through the ground up the side of your house. None of that. Nothing like There's that. There's no big and, and, okay. and I'll tell you there's okay. something else even better. Um, when you set it up, you actually, it'll ask you when you're setting it up, if you have an iOS device, your iPhone, you oh, can oh, put it next to it. Yeah. You lay it on top of the of, of the Apple yeah. TV, and it automatically grabs your network settings. Wow. So you so, so you just like all you do is you introduce them to each other. And that's say, right. Hey, they just mate. Hey, I would like they you do to a just say hello, action. and then you dim the lights. You go out for a glass of wine. You come back, and yeah. next thing you know, you've got all kinds of content that that's you right. can stream. So the bottom line is this: uh, I definitely, I highly recommend this thing. It is a awesome, awesome, awesome gadget. Um, we've got them uh, connected to all of our devices. You can also stream music to it, your videos from your phone, um, and of course, anything that you have on your computer. You can send it via AirPlay as well. So you've got a wireless connection. You can actually use the TV as a second monitor. So hey, that's my highest. So marks. send your name in, and we'll tell you who wins next week, right? That's right. All that's right. right. So uh, what we'll do right now is we are going to throw to another little. Uh, yeah, we're going to do brain hack. Actually, talk about how to make your brain work better. Nice. And it doesn't have anything to do with uh, butter or tequila. Nothing like that at all. <laughs> all right. So we're going to throw over to uh, a little bumper right now, and then you'll see a brain hack with Mr. Ed Rush.
productivity amplifier. Your productivity hack, and this one is easy. I use it almost every single day, and it's, it'll cost you less than $10 on the App Store at iTunes. It's a program called Brainwave, and I use it for three things. One for meditation, two for naps, and the third one is for great sleep. Let me show you the app, let me show you how it works, and I'll show you what the only thing that you need to be able to connect to this. So let's go to my phone real quick. As you can see, just go right to the App Store. I want you to type in the word Brainwave. Okay, as you uh, pull this up, it's probably going to be the first return when you pull this up. There's an app called Brainwave. You see 32 advanced binaural brainwaves, and you're just going to go ahead and click on that, try it, or buy it, or open it. When I open it, I want to show you what, kind of what pulls up into my phone. You're going to get a bunch of options that are sitting right here on the screen. Now, let me exp explain exactly what these are. Your brain basically has a resonant frequency, and it's a bunch of different waves that range from alpha, beta, delta, theta, gamma. Now, I'm not going to get into the science behind it because the fact is I don't even know much of the science behind it, but I definitely know how it works, which is this. This program, and you put on headphones, so I like using, for example, um, these Bose noise reduction headphones. You can even use your earbuds uh, that you get with your, with your phone. You simply put them in. What this app does is it puts one frequency in one ear and one frequency in the other ear. And what it creates essentially inside of your brain is what's called a resonant frequency. That frequency could be set for whatever you want it to be. So for example, when you're sleeping, you have a certain brain frequency and you're really thinking really hard and coming up with great ideas and being creative. You have another frequency and there's a way to essentially tune your brain up or down depending on how you want to do it. So let's take a look at the app one more time. On the app, you can select, for example, different times um, or different, different settings. So for example, dreamy sleep is one that I use at night quite a bit. Uh, meditation is one that I'll use during the day for maybe 20 or 30 minutes. Power nap is one I use all the time. Typically what I'll do is I'll set it for about 20 minutes, push play, put my headphones on, lay down on a couch or on the floor and just go and, uh, and take a quick nap. But you can see there's a whole bunch of other ones here like anger relief, stress reduction, euphoria, positive mood boost, pre-exercise energy, confidence boost, brainstorm, problem solving, and more. Now again, not going to go into the science. This thing flat out works. I use it when I sleep, use it when I take naps, use it when I meditate. If you're having a tough day, you can just put it in, take some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, and really kind of release a lot of that tension. And like I said, all you really need to do is connect your headphones, which you currently have. I use these Bose Quiet Comfort. They're 25 is the ones that I use right now. You can get them on Amazon. They're not cheap, but they're amazing technology, and I certainly recommend them. Mike's got them as well. Um, if you want the link for that, by the way, we direct linked it, linked it for you. It's mrbz.com slash Bose. So mrbz.com slash Bose to get those headphones. And that is your productivity hack for today. Body Amplifier. All right. Nice job, Ed Rush. Thank you. Show. You're a body amplifier. I was in that one. It was so funny because when I was sitting in the, I'm just kidding. There the we go. Tequila hasn't hit yet, hit the brain yet, but it's so, coming. So just so you know, that was <laughs> actually apple juice. It wasn't not <laughs> apple juice. No. What was it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay. It, it wasn't. was something else. You thought it was apple juice. Okay. Because you wouldn't let me actually throw down tequila on the show, but. Well, there we go. Not yet. Not what yet. do you know? We might experiment a little bit what later on. What do you know? But it was They fun. don't call me Frank the Tank for nothing, Mike Koenigs. That's correct. By the way, we've got some um, undisclosed bottles in front of us here. Uh, we have a our. Competition. In just a minute, we have our blind, deaf, and dumb tastings coming up. It's not blind tasting because, <clears throat> because Mike and I are. It'll be kind of blind. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're gonna, we're gonna yeah. make ourselves blind so, just for you. But before we do that, let's talk about who's on next week's show. We oh, we've got some special. So we've got JJ Virgin's gonna be here live in the studio next week, which is gonna be freaking awesome. Yes. And we also have there we go. Yeah, they brought up a nice <laughs> lower third. There I am in the exercise. Very nice. Thank you for that. And then wow. um, the other guest we have. I might is bring Lee my uh, full spandex thing next week. Oh, that'd be sweet. the old spandex tuxedo. Did I got do, it. The, do the old cucumber in the foil routine? Hey, it's not the first. If you remember the Shalene, uh, the interview we did with Shalene Johnson, like what was that, two years ago? Yeah. I had the spandex tuxedo baby. That was I might sweet, bring that baby. back out again. With the, the man, the man, man Keeney and the wristbands. Woo! That'd be yeah. sweet. I, so, hey, it's been done before. I know it has. I'm not afraid. Yeah, I know. You're a proud man. So uh, what we do have, 
That's uh, in addition to that, we've got John Lee Dumas coming in, which Man. is great. So, so he's been running a uh, crowdfunding campaign that is. Kickstarter. That's what I meant. Over three hundred fifty thousand. Maybe the tequila is so hitting the brain. Could be. So, so John Lee Dumas has been uh, running a fundraiser for Lupus. Yeah. And uh, no, <laughs> it's been uh, for his uh, for his book. Yeah. Which we've got a copy of, and um, it's impressive to say the least. It is. And what we're going to do is we are going to deconstruct on. Uh, this is going to be live uh, the day before his campaign ends. Yes. Which is going to be is really, really cool. Yeah. And, and, and talk about how he's managed to do it, talk about you know, all the strategy and the, and the tactic, tactics behind it as yeah. well. So I'm super excited about that. So just the fact that we got both of them in. Man. And if, I've also got uh, several other people scheduled for some other episodes. We'll, we'll share those. So that's episode number two, John Lee Dumas, JJ Virgin, live in the studio. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be awesome. Next week, and uh, we're, rough, we're at the same time, right? Thursday at 6. 6 and o'clock is a live show. Pacific Standard Time. And we would highly recommend that you subscribe by going to one of the websites that That's we mentioned right. earlier. That's right. We'll put that lower third up for you right now. I don't even you know wanna, if you're watching this, let's MRBZ.com slash show. Show. Slash show. So let's show that right now. Yep. Okay. Not the YouTube channel. No, you know we'll what? We, we threw them a curveball because we're like, you were like, just put up with the lower third, and they just pushed a random yep. button. So and, it'll know, be the lower third. Twenty percent chance of getting it right. The uh, subscribe to the channel, which is mrbz.com/show. There you yes, go. Yes, there's the right or one. Or you can text five triple eight five. Text MK Show to five triple eight five. There you go. Man, um, that's the and other you way haven't even had any tequila. I haven't had any to drink. All right, Not so yet. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do to me. The other thing, <laughs> one more time. So I'm going to tell you something else that's cool. So. We showed you the first chunk of the full interview that I did with Dave Asprey. So you want to subscribe to the podcast. And the reason for that is on the podcast, which is mrbz.com. You get both chunks podcast, on the podcast. You so get two chunks. It's That's chunkier right. on iTunes. That's it. There you go. So you got Chunky Bulletproof Coffee. You do not want to have... Ed's that's Chunky true. Bulletproof Coffee. That's true. Maybe we that's the brand we should be chasing right now. It could be right Chunky now. Bulletproof. So, Somebody look uh, and see if Chunky Bulletproof You know what? Chunky now, in, in hindsight... If we would have thought of that earlier, you know what? What are you going to do on the fly? Yeah. I was thinking. I, I once took a river rafting trip in Maine on the Chunky River. Yeah. And for three days. What was in that river? For three days, I giggled about the fact that I was floating the Chunky. Nice. And I'm just saying, it was funny. <laughs> Ed Rush. I was 14, man. And I'm telling you, it's as funny now as it was back then. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it doesn't just, change. Yeah. That stuff never. So anyway. Yeah. No, you know, you probably had to be back there. To you. So, uh, so. Here's what you need to do. <laughs> you want to subscribe to the uh, podcast because I'm going to give you the full episode also. Yeah. If you didn't see this already, we mentioned it before, which is uh, you can get the show notes uh, for uh, Dave, and there's the podcast link, uh, but you can see it at mrbz.com slash bulletproof. Yep. We've got downloadable show notes, which are beautiful, by the way, um, put together for the interview with Dave, as well as all the information well, you and just to know. ask a question we got in chat, um, the show notes are available after the show. So yeah. if you go there right now, you should do that so that you can get on the list to get those. But someone asked and said there weren't, they weren't there. Uh -huh. And we appreciate the question. Um, and I appreciate you thinking that we were clairvoyant enough to be able to look into the future and know what we were going to talk about. But boop, 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 boop. We, end up, we end up making a lot of this stuff up. So right. you're going to get all the made up stuff plus the chunky parts. Plus, we got a very at special. That uh, I got to give a shout out for our buddy uh, Nick Unsworth. Yes, he just he just made a comment. Uh, he sent in a comment that said, um, "What's the se what is the secret to Mike's handsomeness?" Uh, which I can only I'll guess is a combination that. of Viagra and some sort of yeah, some bulletproof sort of coffee could be tequila bulletproof, mix. Bulletproof and yeah. Uh, yeah, bulletproof and Viagra. <laughs> what did you say? Sure that's what it is. What? And floating down the chunky what was river it? with. Boy, yep. yeah. Oh, boy. where's the sound effect? Yeah. Boy, 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 yes, that's the yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, we got to <laughs> do that. Two. We, sh we had one of those things for a little while. Maybe we'll have that at some point. Bowing, 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 bowing. You know what? You can't see behind the desk. Thank God for that because we're not see wearing pants this side. today. You can yeah. see behind this side. Okay. So, yeah, normally we don't do that. All right. So, that was for Nick Unsworth. Thank you for your uh, fabulous com uh, comment there, Nick. Appreciate that. And are we ready for, yeah, we're uh, ready for this. All right. wine, dumb, and deaf tastings? Do Kay. we have like a sexy time, some sort of a little thing that we're going to roll just to set the... Oh, there we go. Blind, deaf, and dumb tastings. Wow. Oh, yeah. That reminds me of some of phone calls I made in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. um, blind, and look what I'm deaf, wearing. and dumb do, 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 do. 
So we had, so we had one of our team go out to a local. Um, I don't know how to describe the store where these were purchased, but. Hello. Yes. Hello, my precious. I think it was yes. called Adam and Eve or something Hello, like that. Anyway, so oh, here's yes. the rules with blind, deaf, and dumb tasting. So. I got my triple. Earlier today. Okay. Yes, Ed. You're gonna you're gonna. I haven't be started drinking petting yet. that thing a lot after you drink what I've provided okay. for you. Um, Explain this thing. So here's the way the here's the way blind, deaf, and dumb tastings works. It's very simple. Earlier today, I went and bought uh, something for Mike to drink. He went and bought something for me to drink. Our producer Chris bought something for both of us to drink. Mm -hmm. The rule is you have to be blindfolded, and the other rule is it can literally be anything. It just has to be something that you can drink without dying. So and no bodily fluids. No bodily allowed. fluids. No battery acid. But Pepto Bismol is an option if you want to go down there, uh, and you're and you get a point for accurately accurately. Um, <laughs> Hello. I'm trying to okay. do the rules. All right, sorry about um, that. You get a point for accurately describing what has just <coughs> gone into your mouth. All right. Now, the blindfold goes on Mike Koenigs, and I will reveal. We have spittoons, just in case. You can spittoon in oh, okay, this thing. Okay, just in case. All yeah. right, just in case. All right, so that's I'll a, put that this in the that's back. That's the bulletproof trapper keeper thing. All right, put the put your uh, put All your right. blindfold on, and, All right. and um, now I'm not going to say it with words, but I am going to show you. I think it's on the wrong way. Is it? I well, thing, it's kitty side up, isn't I, it? Yeah. I th really? Yeah, it'd right. be kitty ears. Okay. So what I've chosen for Mike today, if you can take a good look at this, um, this is, um, yeah, there we go. Um, and I think we've got a lower third that says what this is, right? There it is. All right. So, because I'm not going to say it out loud, but today, that's what Mike a a is tasting, yes. And this is um, truly disgusting, by the way. All right. Um, well, it's really got a very, very, very nice. You're head, just though. trying to psych me out. Oh my goodness. Um, all right, so I'll let that. I'll let that go. Um, okay. Okay, so maybe. <laughs> I can. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. So here, uh, your oh, your right hand. There you go. And you. Um, you're right, welcome so to was, just. I have to whoop it. You could uh, oh, take, <laughs> oh, take in the. Oh, take in the. Oh, this smells cheap as hell. Take in the aroma. It was a this, tough. It's been okay. a tough month. <laughs> I've been in, I've been in very very dirty bathrooms that smell like this stuff before. Oh, you're getting you're getting warmer. Uh, it is. So this brings back so many memories because I can remember back in uh, Mankato, Minnesota, we used to go to a place called T.J. Finnegan's, oh. and this is like kind of like a dive college bar. Yeah. Right next to the South Street Saloon where they would serve uh, old style. And this actually smells. You're in. You're definitely in the right ballpark. Well, right now. No, it's got a little bit of an edge to it. It's not old Milwaukee, but I, it's almost like Blatz. It's you're close. Damn yeah. it! It's, but taste it's it not old Mill. It's not Blatz. Just a second. It's going to throw you a little left hand, little little curveball. Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> God, it's, it's uh, chili. Some other. Ooh, it yes. It tastes like chili. Yeah. It's got some spice. It's like. Not Tabasco. It's like the chili of the it's sea. It's tomato something. Oh, there. It's, okay, there. It's you got a, one of the ingredients. Mexican yes. I can't remember you what the You got it. Come on. Like, you can do it. Kalkaka laka. <laughs> uh, it's beer with tomato juice. Oh, <laughs> this, this is horrible. Beer with tomato juice, and there's oh, one and more thing. Oh, and then it's thing. got a little bit of Tabasco. It's like hot sauce. It's like a taco sauce yes. or seasoning. All right, you got you definitely got it close enough to be able to. Uh, you can take ah, off. You can take horrible. off. You can take off your blindfold. All right, what so is Mike, it? today we're tasting Bud Light <laughs> yes, with Bud Light. clam juice. There you go. <laughs> I knew it smelled like a college kid's pee It's pee -pee. Chelada. and actually, uh, the Bud, the oh. good folks at Anheuser yeah. Busch. I mean, did it's great. Thank you, Bud. You know, Budweiser. The, if you come up, you want to be our sponsor. I'm all over it. The good it. folks yes, at Anheuser Busch. I uh, did the it did us the advantage of putting all of the um, oh, and my ingredients in it. Spanish yes. on this can. Is so it? it was their way of saying, "Look, you're basically oh. screwed either way." So, all right. Yep. So um, there you go. It all smells right. like pee and pizza. It's hard. It's that's horrible. What it, that's what it reminds it's me. really horrible. Sorry about that, Anheuser. The guy at the liquor right. store thought it was I think it's great, your turn. Though. And Felicia, who's over here, Felicia told us she, she drinks this all I the time. Love that stuff. Do you? Yeah. I drink it all the time. You know what? You'd probably get used to it. If you live in a trailer, anyway. So, um, okay. Sorry about that. It's Love actually, you, baby. No, it's funny unless the person you're making fun of actually lives in a trailer, and you're good, right? You have like an apartment or something, yeah, or some know. sort of tenement, tenement somewhere. We so, we love we love Felicia. Box a box. Somewhere. Okay, it's your turn. All right. Okay, I'm gonna next blindfold up, up. Next up. So okay, I'm ready. All right. Oh yeah, beautiful. <laughs> now, what do we got here? Oh no! Oh. Boo 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 boo! What's that? 
That is a that is the background music to um, the Minions game. No. It just transitioned into a very white sort of Frank Sinatra thing. Oh, no. Oops, now we're into scat. Oh yeah. Not the not the not well, the uh, feces scat. not the feces right. scat, but the there song kind of scat. Um, oh my goodness! Okay. Just a second here. Mm. Oh goodness gracious! Mm. Up. Uh, it doesn't. Um, oh, that's really bad. It's. Mm -hmm. There you go, Ed. Isn't that sweet? Is it Worcestershire sauce? Um, it smells like well, Worcestershire sauce. Well, let's just say it could be a veritile. Oh. Okay, I don't know what like, the French would call it. Can anyone speak can French I, here? Can I actually drink this and not... You can um, drink it. You can totally drink it. You can have a sip. There we go. No, no, yeah. no. Ugh. <laughs> oh, what is it? It's pretty horrible. Is that Worcestershire sauce for nope. real? Oh. Uh, no, it's, it's better than that. I would say... <laughs> um, That's really bad. It. First of all, I will tell you it is. I gave you um, a real it's, drink. It's okay. It's blank. Blank is 100% pure, mm -hmm. fresh pressed, extra Armpit virgin, cuttings. Bing Bing sauce made oh, from soy only sauce. two ingredients. No. The freshest. Uh, it went down and then okay. it went up my nose. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like it's, it's not the supposed freshest to. Freshest bling bling. It's a type of thing, and sea salt. Okay, so that's where the soy comes from, and it is free. It is free from added water. MSG and preservatives, so it doesn't have any of that in it. So um, let's see. It's da -da 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 -da, packed with B vitamins and oh, minerals. The boy. extra rich protein uh, content gives all of your favorite recipes that exclusive fifth flavor, umami. The fifth flavor. It oh, adds mom. umami. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, you need more umami in your life, my big guy. Oh, umami. Can I take friend. off my blindfold You can take now? it off. You didn't even guess. I, I guess Worcestershire sauce. It's not that at all. It's Red Boat fish, fish sauce. sauce. Oh gosh, so it's, it's basically Vietnamese ground delicacy. up. It's basically ground up anchovies. Anchovies, that's which right. Which is what mm. I was expecting mm. after giving you an actual alcoholic beverage, but um, oh, it's okay. Right. Mm. Well, it does have a it does have a little. A it has little, a fragrance, doesn't it? It has a finish of um, right. wet concrete. All right. All right. Well, we've got for um, the third. Oh wait, now we get blindfolded. Here. So yep. if we could ask uh, our um, assistant. Our marketing director, yeah. Felicia, come on out here, girl. Um, so Felicia's been actually working behind the scenes, creating, she has. creating the. She's all beautiful. The, Look all at the those th bangs. Oh, I'm a bang. Okay. Yes. Oh. I thought you were, mm. I thought you were talking. Isn't with me. she gorgeous? Um, so now <laughs> here, you're going to pour us okay. something. And gonna goodness put the gracious, I hope it's something. Up? Well, I'll tell you what. We <laughs> should get rid of that. Uh, still going up. That odiferous thing here. Where is that fish stuff? Fish sauce defies fish sauce. gravity. Let's get rid of that. Are you guys not gonna finish this? Cause, like, yeah, you're gonna. No, you no. can have it. <laughs> Actually, we got another one. You can cut a little hole in the yeah. side of it, and then. Like shh, it. Yep. Yeah. The way we used to do it back Shake in the day. Up. All right. Back in the day. I'm ready. Day. All right. I don't know what's in here, but um, Nick Unsworth. I heard this is the secret to my <laughs> handsomeness. I'm yes. not sure. Yes. All right. Is. Yep. There you go. It's a drink. I hope it's something you can drink without. Having to run to the bathroom like fish sauce. Yeah, don't want to smell your breath right now, my friend. Okay, I heard no. it fall somewhere around here. Oh, he, oh. oh, there we go. Oh Look wait, that. is that? Am I supposed to get it yet? Can you put it what? in the general vicinity oh, of my hand? Oh, you're adjusting my. Thank you. Mm. Is there a glass around here somewhere? Someone fix my kitty. Is this mine? All right. Is this mine right Ooh, here? I can smell it already. Or is can this I the smell? fish sauce? Yeah. No, can someone tell me if this is mm. the fish sauce or the glass All that right. I'm supposed to be drinking right now? Okay, good. All right. Oh, that's wine, man. Yeah, it is wine. Um, it's a question of thank, what kind. Thank you. So thank you. Okay. It doesn't smell like a cab to me. It's a um, red wine. Yeah, it's definitely red. Let me see here. I'm going to take a sip. It could potentially be the grape variation of Mad Dog 2020. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting a good aroma oh. of grapes it here on the, on the uh, nose. No, it isn't. It's like, it's With either a, a Zin or a uh, mm. uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. it's not a Shiraz. Oh man. I think it's a Zin. So I got a, I got a good aroma of grapes, and then mm. on the taste and the finish, I also had some uh, very distinct grapes. Mm. So um, I think it's, I think it's okay, definitely a grape, um, some sort of grape drink. Yeah. Pot yeah. Potentially some sort of fermented grape juice. Um, 
No, I'm going with you actually, Mike, on the Zinfandel, so I'll tell you why. I think it's got a little bit of a, uh, a yeah. minerality and, yep. hold on, let me make something else up. Okay. Um, uh, a little spiciness on the finish, I think, is how I would describe right. that. <clears throat> I'm having a little... Uh, All right, let's check and see what it, it is. It ain't a Shiraz. Okay. That's a Zinfandel, man. Not too wow, bad, Lodi. Wow, 2012 uh, from Jeez. Lodi, which is up in Napa. Not bad, baby. So that's good. Thank look you. Look at that. Alicia, nice that. job. And it's look at that. It's actually got a beautiful color to I'll it. I'll actually drink some of this. I now, will, I'm not going to be drinking no fifth sauce tonight. But. All right. <clears throat> so Maybe later. we've got that. So here's what we're going to do, my friend. Well, we're going to we're drinking in a champagne glass. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sop up that spill with the kitty here in just a little bit. <laughs> You're gonna have Maybe we'll use, use this another time. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We are going to use it we're again. We're going to be using this. So you know what we're going to do? I think it's about time that we uh, say thank you to our friends. Yeah. You want to do that? I don't know what that means. All right. So well, let's just here's, do it. Here's what we're going to do. So this was the inaugural yes. episode number one. And uh, I want to give my team a yes. huge uh, amount so, of gratitude. First of all, love. it feels great to be uh, to have number one done. Next week, we're going to be doing number two. Yep. So I'm super excited thank about that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, come and watch us live. Mike's gadget giveaway. You're going to give something else that's <laughs> yep. cool. cool. Um, yes. We've got another gadget giveaway. We've got another episode of JJ Virgin's fabulous stuff. Yes. As we said earlier, besides having JJ in the studio live, we're going to have our friend John Lee Dumas here. Yeah. Every, We've got a lineup, well, a great lineup. Every uh, episode, episodes. we double the number of our guests yeah. until episode 36 when mathematically it's the whole it's good, world. It is. No, it'll be more than that. Seven million people. I think it's only like 18 here. folds, and then it's like from here to the end of the universe or so, something like that. Um, so we so do want to invite you to next week. Go to yep. all the... 17 or so websites that we recommended you to go to earlier today. And with that, we'll work that out. We've got some credits from our whole team, right? Yeah, let's roll some credits because we're going to read you some credits gonna, here tonight. We're going to show you. So um, they get. So yeah, check out, definitely register so we can give you some prizes. Next week, we're also going to tell yeah. you who the winner of the Apple TV is. Yes. That'll be in episode number two. As the credits we'll roll continue. to. And oh, yeah, here's one other thing. When you uh, join and actually uh, join the show, subscribe. Yeah you're automatically entered to continue to win cool prizes that we'll be giving away. You don't have to be present to win. Oh, okay, so you, okay. you subscribe. And that goes for podcasters. As cool. long as you go in, again, just text your text MK show to 5885. I can still remember that even yeah. after a bottle so of tequila. let's roll some credits, shall we? So as you're looking at the credits, they will be uh, very similar to this show, which start out very serious mm -hmm. and then end really silly. Oh, so, look at you. There we yes, go. Yes, there we go. We've got some credits. So, oh, that's you. There we go. Yeah, and we got Ed Rush. Hey, Chris all right. Cashman, I made it. Deb Cole, Dave Asprey, and JJ. Our writers, okay, technical director Ian and Kyle, Sean the Dwagon and Melissa. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Kristen, this is where it gets Kristen interesting. Kristen Taylor. All right, the Tommy Igo did the, the soundtrack. Brandon Ty's team who's here. All of you. Chris Chief Henderson. Oyster taster. Shout out. There we go. Felicia. Superman, Chief Berman, we had officer. to get that. Robert Poling, Ed Rush, in Fat charge Lennon's of door, Mookie. That's my favorite. Alex. Voice. Okay, Kisa. Ed doesn't have an assistant. Does not. Thank you to our the sponsors. Homeless people who definitely help. Yes, Cuisinart <laughs> and Bulletproof, and also yes, the homeless. The homeless Euphoria. folks got they got paid. Paid and they got on the credits. So hey, that's true. First name only. So there you so. go. We managed to make it through our first episode, and yeah. so far so good. No Can't. one died. Can't wait. Yeah, for we've got two. a lot more. So here's what we promise. It's just going to get better from here. So what we're going to do is uh, just we'll thank you for being see here, you our friends. Next week, it's going to be a big night for the team. Thanks for watching, and we will see you very, very soon. Oh, <laughs> apparently we're. Are you still here? Hey. We told you to click the subscribe button. Yeah. We played that thing that meant that it's time for you to yeah. go, and you're still here. We're still here. We're still drinking wine, so we'll just sit here for a little while and wait for you to click either the click button. the buttons. So there's buttons below us if you're watching us live, or you can hit that subscribe. You can, yeah. Uh, you know, join if our podcast. You already did that though. Click another button, or yeah, copy and paste and send it out to ten thousand people or something yeah. like that. You know, That's our a goal. few folks that subscribe to you. And we're gonna just. Sit here and enjoy your wine, um, but you can you can hang out if you want to. It's all right. You guys gonna drink that? that, that mm. Mm, here, Calamata. oh yeah, yeah, come on, you can have this one. <laughs> come yeah. on over here. Yeah, here you go. Just um, we got here. Felicia. Here, let's just put it in a nice yeah. glass. For They're you. a pretty glass so, for Felicia. Um, she can have yeah. the. Uh, 
Oh. In fact, you guys are welcome to come over here and grab a. There's some wine glasses in the in the thing in the. Uh, All right, Rush. Also known as congratulations. The kitchen. And anyone wants this? Cheers to you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. No, I usually drink it out of the can, but this is like a way classier way it's, to do it. I think you are classy. It's team. like it's like you. Um, you really, sh you were kind of feeling really crappy about yourself while you're drinking, and then all of a sudden now you feel I'm really like, like, you know, I love my man. He just gives me the cloud motto mm -hmm. with the blood light inside of it in yeah. a glass. So thank you. For I'm not saying you talk like guys. that. So you want all right. the all right? Here we go. You want the cloud motto? <laughs> you want, or which or one you want? Wine. wine. All right, so, wine. <laughs> this is Mike. This is Alex. So anyone who's doing chat, watch it. Or watch it. Don't be pulling that away. Oh, he's got his bulletproof bulletproof wine glass. That's the one that I there we go. Um, glass of wine. Do we have anything left in that tequila bottle? Yeah. Cheers, cheers, good job. By the way, <laughs> by the way, go. if you're a person that really wants closure in life, you're not about to get that. Okay. Good. So this is gonna keep going. So <laughs> this is our. These are our friends from Brand Ties here, who are in, who are yes. managing the back end of the business. Come on, man. I love the way we say back end. We got Chris Cashman who's coming in. He is our producer. All right, we got Deb, who's behind the scenes as well. Where the tequila's down and, here. And uh, I just want to make sure. Am I looking at the right camera here? I think so. No, it's you're no. looking at this one. This one here? Oh yeah, yeah. I am. We're we're way through. And uh, you know, as long as you're still here, here, we could probably answer a few Whoa. questions oh. here if you've ah. got any chats. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Grab. Can you get? There's like a. Can you grab a couple more right. glasses in there? So there's I don't Keith mean to Shannon's look. here. Andy Falco, still on the on the line. If you've got any questions. Yeah, what? this is all right. Oh, I think you're sort of. Hey, you got a, something? You got a glass? There we go. We what are you gonna have? You're gonna have the chilata or the all right. Look at that. tequila or the wine. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for that. Andy Falco is still some? here. You sure? Yes. All right. So Who's we're gonna here. Have if you've got some tequila. big questions, you can just Which send an email want? to uh, our Gmail account. We can also uh, all right. uh, let our team, yeah. Melissa and Sean, if you want to come forward, we're officially. You done here. Yeah, you can do that. Right yeah, you can, you can keep, the, keep that lower third up there. Come on forward. Mm -hmm. We also want to give a shout out to our friend Mara Glazer, who's here yeah. right now, and also to our one of our favorite people in the whole wide world, Bill Glazer. Yes. We'll definitely want to uh, say hi to Bill. And uh, there's uh, wine, there's tequila here for our friends. We might have to crack well, open a little more wine. There like we go. There's Sean okay, and Melissa. Second. Look at the team behind the scenes here. There um, we go. Tiffany Everett is here. Jamie Ray is here. Andrea is here. Joe Ippolito. Perry Madden. He's my, you know what? I got a good story. Perry Madden is watching right now. I grew up, it's the first person I actually remember. I've known him. He, he was lived really? across the street from Isn't me. Isn't that normally like your parents? So probably met him when I was two or three, one year older than me from Eagle Lake, Minnesota. Really? His parents with the twinnies. He has two brothers. The twins, Lynn and Lon, and huh. then Perry. Hey, Perry. What's up, Perry? Hi. So uh, this is great. He's here from Eagle Lake. We um, and uh, oh, Colligan wants to know. Paul Colligan, hey, how you Paul. doing, brother? How are you? So oh. he wants to know what was in the tequila bottle. So go ahead, Ed. What was it? Besides now it's tequila. besides it is tequila. Now. <laughs> exactly. So um, we, we did forget. That. We did forget to mention, um, and this we weren't planning on this anyway. We do have a few more sponsors to thank. Uh, so we'd like to thank Piggly Wiggly, uh, shops from the south. We'd also like to thank uh, Car Noir, uh, Bloomingdale's, um, Little Debbie Snack Cakes. Thank you for your sponsorship. Thank you, Little Debbie. That's very um, nice of you. Uh, yeah. Was it Little Debbie? No, who was it who used to sponsor uh, the Peanuts? Mr. Peanut. No, 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 no. The Peanuts, <laughs> the, the, the TV show. It was another snack cake. Zingers. Do you like Peanuts? <laughs> ah, see? <laughs> if you just cut the and end rush. of that word off. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, Andrea says, blast. I think, Ed, if he keeps those glasses up, Melody, Ian, they will probably have to turn the lights out. There we go. Oh, yeah, Ian wants to know who's going to be the last to leave. Our friend from Australia is here, Andy Shepard. Is the Brainwave, uh, Brainwave app available on Android? I don't Who even cares know. about Android? I don't even know what that thing Android is that blows. you're talking about. It probably is, by the way. I don't use such a device. Uh, it's good, huh? This isn't tequila. What is that? Shut it. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> hey, All right. do you guys want? So guys Paul want wanted to know what was in the tequila bottle. Do you want something to drink? Yeah. yeah. Dang it. What's going on here? Everyone say hi to my mom. Hi. Hi, Felicia's mom. Hi. I'm hi, Aunt and mom. All right. Like, Aunt Teresa's like, watching. This is like great. Something on the camera though that we need to get off. All right. Uh, Sorry. 
This is a little smudge or something. Okay, so. yeah. Okay, Joni Wilson's uh, here. That. Jamie hey, Ray's Joni. here. You know what we're going to do next time? We're going to start with the party, and then we're going to do That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> Why not? So All right. instead of instead so of successfully taking our clothes this off, we can gelato. successfully put the them gelato. On. Oh, you don't want it? The clamato. <laughs> this, you know what? That's yeah. what it is. I remember it. It sounded like a venereal disease. Ugh. Anyone want the clap? It's the yeah. clamato. I was forced right, in my look, freshman year. And you really want it? You just want. Try it out. It's not that bad. I've tried really. it before. Oh yeah. Oh okay. You don't want it? I was forced to um, drink. Okay, the wine. Clamato as so my let's get her. Let's get another glass here because I ruined one. Uh, you're gonna get the rest. Lamb the right? Alpha. Okay. Chug Clamato. I threw Clamato yeah. up. Yeah, we did. Okay. I chugged Clamato out of a duck. A plastic duck. <laughs> plastic duck. Okay. Plastic duck. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, See what Kitty. I'm saying, though? This thing's All right, what else we got here? Eddie's to still here. To cover up your eyes or whatever. These are the ears. All right. This is Tiffany Everett asks a, a legitimate question. She says, "We don't take those after oh, come on, 7:30. We're answer it. Right. Is the audio still working? And everything? All right. Good. <laughs> I don't, they don't know. They're standing here drinking fake tequila. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is another one for you. You can, you can have one of those. Isn't that nice? It's pretty. It's pretty. It turned out good. Tequila's in the tequila. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So Tiffany says, for the bulletproof. Coffee. How does that work for someone who's dairy-free, gluten-free? So one thing, there ain't no gluten in it. Dairy-free. It turns out. Well, there's no. Dairy I don't remember either. all this. I don't remember the science. None. Check this out. No Hi, dairy. Hi, Laser. Do you want something to drink? Yeah, she does. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get her something. Here. So Here. you don't want the. You, want the, you don't want the oh, chlamydia. There's no more wine left. Okay. Though. Oh, there we go. Chris Hendrickson says really enjoyed the the show, and Kendra wants to do the taste test of tequila next. Hey, Kendra. Nice to see you, baby. All right. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate you. Um, so here we go. Back to the question about bulletproof coffee. So it turns out there's something that happens with butter that even people who are lactose intolerant um, don't Here. have an issue. Now, the no, thing it, is, is real again, wine, I don't know the whole wine. science behind yeah. this stuff. I honestly don't. But in the show notes that you're going to get with Sorry, Dave. Getting a glass it's all right. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Dave. <laughs> thank you, Ed <laughs> Rush is back in yeah. butt. Um, uh, with the MCT oil, you can just drink it with the MCT oil. You'll have some of the benefits. But... Uh, just start following some of Dave's stuff. Get the download. There's two gifts that you get. One of them is the show notes. The other one is the uh, the download that the, Dave gives the you. The Maxim spread. Check out the so, link inside uh, Bulletproof. MRBZ.com slash Bulletproof. And All just right. so you know, uh, we're not doctors and we don't give nutritional advice or financial advice or yeah. business advice. Well, we give business advice, but not accounting advice. And we we uh, don't have um, we don't play any of those people on TV either, right? Is that, is that safe? All to right, say? this is good. So check this out. What's that? <laughs> just can just disregard everything yeah. I just said. Yeah. All right. So Andy Shepard just said he threw his uh, Android out of the window. He's going to go to the Apple Store right now. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. It's like the commercial where the guy shreds on everybody's phones. Have you seen that? So that he can oh, introduce yeah, yeah. them to a new car. My Zach like, Zach so loves I can that. Put that car in my pocket. Nice. Thanks. Yeah. Dragging my phone. So we got we got some buzzing going on here. What else we got? Diane Bell's here. Hey. Hi, Diane. Hey, Diane. She is having a fun time. You having a good time? <laughs> what the hell, huh? This ain't too bad. Come on, you're. Oh, you're hogging up, hogging up your. Here, you, there's more chlamydia in this glass you can have. We did get another bottle of wine, by the way. If anybody wants any peanut new. Oh, there fire. you go, Naomi. We got yeah. a little Naomi for the pine nuts, the pine nut drinking. Kendra just says, "Okay, hey, ha ha, hey, baby." I'm Does anyone about. here? Here, pass that Kendra guy actually worked on a couple There's of my books. There's more where that came from. Oh, no. Really? Yeah, she's she's a doll. Totally sweet. Hello, Kendra. Mm. And Joey Polito, he says, okay, this supports bulletproof Deepak Chopra touted the benefits of Indian style clarified butter. Joe no, copy and pasted that. I know, Joe. What's like going on with times. that? We saw it. We saw it the first time, man. <laughs> All right. Joe's Thank also on the bulletproof plus tequila approach and um, <laughs> just kept hitting control C. <laughs> control C. You gotta, control V. Okay, so, All right. Joe, did that. Oh, okay. Let's get a little bit of. <laughs> um, waiter. Somehow There's get a, a little fly bit of in my wine. Got a little bit of spunk in here. I think it was a little weak with the, the, I mean, the wine. This is like actually good stuff. That's what I'm saying, man. That's why I got it for him. Like, I Chlamydia. I went into this. Uh, I, w I went into this. That's true, man. I went into this liquor store this morning, and I was like, I'm like, hey, man, the guy that works there. I go, hey, do you guys have a Mad Dog 2020? Any of the flavors will do. And he's like, no, we did not serve that here. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend you or anything. Like, I'm just looking for some drinks. And I go, how about Colt 45? And he's like. 
No, we did not serve that here. <laughs> like, it was don't? very, it's like, it was like, we, we only serve the high class thing, you know? Nice. And I, See, and I, went, through, and I went through a list, and I'm like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. And yeah, yeah. Stuck back on like aisle seven right. at the bottom of the freeze. And by the way, I, it was cold when I uh, when I bought it, yeah. but I left it out leaning next I to my that, car, car tire yeah. for a few You know what? Hours. I'll bet you it's great it's when it's warm. ice cold. Oh, yeah? It's good warm, too. I, I mean, I... Just like warm I tomato juice. Warm. I love it. I love okay. It. If yeah. you like tomato juice. It's really... I'd, um, it's so me, bad. I'd rather have a Bloody Mary. That's <laughs> so the whole I. thing. It's kind of... Yeah, okay. All right. too. Yeah. Okay, next time. Here's the deal. Do you know what else is good? So I gotta, I'm going to just say something, but we've got a 35-second delay, so I'm going to throw something out to our audience, and we're going to come back. So here's the question. What do you want us to feature next time? So if you've got some ideas, brainstorm oh, it with yeah, us a little a bit. We're going to kind of go a little Ron Robin. Who else do you want to see? What else do you want to hear? Be super Sky's useful. the limit, by the way. It is. So just say who it is. I mean, like, yep. I don't know. Or, which, or any, if anyone has suggestions for taste. Henry questions. Kissinger. That's right. Alex. You know. And I just sent out a link right now, mrbz.com slash survey. You can take a little survey and uh, tell us what else you want. Because why not, right? You don't have to do that. Oh, <laughs> we're having the cool fun thing now. Is, it's fun um, time for you guys. No, there's an incentive actually to finish the survey. So when you get to the end of the survey, yeah. we get uh, via email, we send you absolutely nothing. Okay, so actually the survey is just a favor to us. Andrea so Hill it. said she filled out the survey already. Yeah, it's great. I appreciate that. How do you like that? I love compliance. <laughs> yes. So, so there was something the else I was going to say before the slight wine buzz kicked in a few <laughs> minutes ago. Uh, oh, I remember it was like um, it was like Ed, you no, it was it the best I've ever seen you. And yeah, and exactly. Ed Bus. Okay. I want to pay you more money. <coughs> here we go. So I think that's what you said. So Lee Lee Waters just said he wants to come and drink with you guys. Yeah, we're you gonna do that. Lee? We're gonna do that. We're gonna be doing it. We're definitely gonna be doing some uh, drinking things. We're working that out because here's what's cool. As of today, thanks to Deb hooking this hooking us up, we have a vodka and a tequila sponsor. No, we, and we and did mention got, them. We have roughly okay. euphoria. Okay. No, euphoric. Euphoric. I'm sorry. I can't read backward K's apparently. Because the owner name is Rick, so it's, it's euphoric. Rick. Oh, like euphoric. oh, I get it. Yeah. See, I didn't realize that. I'll just say. Anyway, fantastic stuff. And they, they actually make their own stuff. It's, it's, well, it's made in San Diego. Gluten-free, salt-free. The, um, the um, made right here, distilled right here. By the way, um, I've had the, the, the tequila without the, all the coffee. And um, I've had the vodka, and it's outstanding so Irene Tomo Cooper's watching suitable. hey Irene yo All Irene right. what's up girl Jamie Ray says bring Paul Giamatti on oh that would be yes. freaking bad be awesome yes. be you awesome. know what here's the deal we're gonna swim upstream what we need to make that happen we need some more uh, we need some more audience members here we're very compliant so just okay invite Eddie, your friends. Eddie D'Souza just said he filled Actually, out the survey here's what you can do this goes all already up. Like as soon as we're done, doesn't YouTube start playing it again? Like you can go right to the link on YouTube and play yeah, it. you'll be able to do so that. The button, yeah. So the button below that takes you to YouTube, or on the bottom right of the screen, there's a little. If you hover over it down, in this general vicinity right here. No, I'm good. All right. At the right, yes, right there, <laughs> right down there. Okay. There's yeah. a button that says YouTube. If you go there, copy that link and send it to your friends. Yeah. Um, you can tell them about we'll the show. keep it up. And then when they come, I haven't finished. So, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I'm, so you can go ahead. But when they no, come to the show, I'm so what we're looking to do up. is, um, up. I'd say, up. well, up. so this week, we'd like to see, I think by next week, several I don't know, million viewers, right? Yeah, that'd be great. A couple that's, million. That's, well, you know what? We're just million. shooting. Guess 7644 said we ought to bring Donald. Donald Trump. The dog shit actually, Trump on. That's the first time I swore all night. Meant it. Okay, we had anyway. a. We have a. Love we, Donald Trump. We had Love a little Donald bit Trump. of a. Um, <laughs> let me just say, uh, we that had some and editing. Cancer. We had some editing because <laughs> in Mike's original, uh, in Mike's original, <laughs> it's true though. And for a guy who's had cancer in his ass, yeah, you yeah. would know. I would what know what a pain in the ass is. In your ass is like. So I would. America, beware! Exactly. You're about to get cancer. Bad in place your ass. for a straight man to get it. I'm just saying that right now. But so, what I will tell you is that too much. Okay, yeah, that's right. No, no, no. Mike, your Mike's original, Mike's original monologue had a had a discussion of uh, Trump, but we took it out. All right. So yeah, I did. I took it. I took it out the first way. There we go. Tiffany says, Guy Kawasaki. I'm done with the Trump stuff. All right. So no. I don't no, think, right. I don't no, think we need to be done with that. I won't go there any longer. Well, no, I just love so you Donald know, Trump. I think he's awesome. Just so you know, we're not we're not um, taking sides either because we no. think they're all retards. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, 
Um, and uh, so I don't mean to use that word offensive offensively. No, no, I just we mean, mean that to the say that they're all retards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So <coughs> all right. So there. So uh, I hope we didn't offend anyone. What do you think of that, Deb? Was that a little too much? She's no. just shaking her head. She thinks it's good. Okay. She's gonna pull the plug. So here's what we will do. Um, we will officially uh, end this show now and uh, cut the stream. But we want to thank you one more time. We've had fun. There we it's, go. We're gonna turn off the like, lights. Uh, you know what? Here we go. Right. I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna stand in front of the camera until you we guys love shut Donald up. Trump. <laughs> That's what Chris just did. That's great. Wait, there why we are go. all the lights going on? See you. Hey guys, we'll see you next week. We love you. There's Sean. Sean's going down the elevator. Down. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And and the escalator. There we go. One for the Danny O. Right. There's whiskey in the jar. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you can cut it. But thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye. There you go. Hello, there's Kitty. Still, there's still, there's still watching. There's still people watching. I thought I told you to go home. Are you too good for your home? Yeah. All right. It's your home. Are you too good for your home? Go home. There we go. So we had a great time. We really did. <laughs> No, thank you. Come join us next week. Thank you. Really? You're welcome. <laughs>